Hello, hello. Hello. It's me. In the classic literature girlies. <laughs> um, hey guys, what's up? Welcome back or to the Rumi's Digest. If this is your first time here, what a fun time for you. Uh oh. To be here. <laughs> Monique's having technical difficulties. <laughs> She's technically still at work, so there's that. But um, hey, my name's Christine. Actually, my name can be not Mo and Christine. It can just be Christine for right now. There are two Mo's. There are two One Mo's. One is invisible and the other is not. One is invisible and the other is not. Um, my name's Christine. I want to have the Ruby's Digest. We're going to go down the line, introduce everybody, and talk about what we're reading tonight. <laughs> I'm Mo, the other half of the Ruby's Digest, and I'm reading um, the book we're reading, Sinners Anonymous. Cute. Not nice. Christine, you never said. Sinners you Anonymous is the book. Actually, I have a confession to make with this small group of friends. Wait, yeah, Mo, you weren't reading it. <laughs> you already done. <laughs> I have no, finished the book. And so has Monique. And yeah. so has Manda, right? And so I haven't it. finished. Oh, I thought you finished. I thought you finished it. I said I may or may not be done, but I'm on chapter 33. So oh, okay. <laughs> you, should, wow. you say something like that when it's like I may or may not have bought five books at the bookstore today. Yeah, yeah. and like you definitely did buy five books. <laughs> no, I said it the right way. No, you no. didn't. You, you used it wrong. <laughs> you used it wrong. No, I didn't. <laughs> When you, everybody may says you do, done. so you do. Okay. <laughs> I may or may not be finished with the book. That's no. That's a, how you say it. If you're saying like I may or may not, be I finished, guess I could say I might be just, finished by then. But yeah, chose, okay. That's not what you. No. Yeah. Okay. Anyway. Anyway. Okay. <laughs> great. You you followed the rules, the instructions. Glad to hear it. Everyone I else, didn't. terrible. <laughs> she says as she read none of it. <laughs> well, you know who else didn't. <laughs> follow the instructions you because you haven't read a single page have you i actually have but we're not talking about me we're talking about sarah yeah I, she was sarah talking about what i was talking about <laughs> wait sarah, I you sarah did you no, finish i read you guys to are literally the worst no no no. i what did i read to last time i read to like 50 ish percent at the end wait, of last year oh my god that's really good. but but i don't remember that much about it because I haven't picked it up since, and I don't really want to pick it back up. So what chapter is 50%? I don't even know. Mm. But pretty close to 30. How many chapters are there? 30 seemed like a lot to get Too to, Too many the chapters. There are a lot of chapters. I was having a great it time. It is such a quick read. Yeah, like, I I, I really know. can't. This was, I will talk about it later. Yeah. We'll no, talk I about remember it in our last sprint where it was, like, Everyone pretty much dropped off. I think there was just like three of us left, right? Yeah. And then I read a lot in that sprint. So it is quick to get through once you actually like sit down and put your mind to it. Put your thinking cap on. Yeah. There you go. Also, you know better than I do. Great. Wait, so where is everybody else? Catherine, where are you? I am 33%. I'm like in the middle of chapter 11. Okay. That's not bad. <laughs> it's not. I have an excuse, though. Yeah, you are moving. You do have a valid excuse. Mm -hmm. I have an excuse, too. What's your excuse, Sarah? I've been sick for the past two weeks. Oh my God, me, too. <laughs> You've been sick? Do you not hear? I feel so nasally. I sound so much better than I did, but like I completely yeah, lost my voice. Bad. I couldn't talk. I cr listen. This is how this is how fragile I am. Okay, <laughs> I I lost my voice, like gone, dead and gone. Right, and I was trying to call my cat over because like she talks back to me, and I couldn't even get it out, and I started crying because I could not communicate with my cat. Because there was no word, like, nothing would come out. 
I'm so, so sorry. Happened. I had no, sorry that happened to you. I had no idea. I'm Thank so you. sorry you went through this horrific experience. And I have my little sepa called cough drops and my nose spray here with me today in case I need them. I have one in my mouth right now. These are great. They numb your mouth. Oh. I'm just going to say the lighting that you got going on, Sarah, is very Twilight right now. Thank you. Like, you know what I mean? Are you Bella? Hmm? I mean, I am Loka, so. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. Um, Wait. Yeah, where, where are you, Jayla? I'm on chapter six, and I'm actually really liking this book. But. That's a lot of chapters. So I'm just going to start at chapter 30 and write it out with you guys. Well, no, with people who are actually, no, wait, no one here is actually reading this now. So now I, I don't do know. I do not what advise doing. this. I do not advise this. Why would you do that? You're going to miss everything. All the juicy. Yeah, things. you're going to be lost. <laughs> I wouldn't do that. 30 is like the end of the book. Oh. It's not. Why are we it's starting like, at the end of the book? I don't know. Y'all so, pick this. No, no, no. So then we, wait. the goal is that we start the second sprints where we can all finish the book on the live so we want to give ourselves like a hundred ish pages so we can read that in two like one hour sprints that's and right that's she's not loca she's not loca she's smart I but then when everyone to... when people finish it beforehand then it doesn't work out or like people yeah, don't christine <laughs> yeah <laughs> sorry that was very aggressive that i'm was like aggressive. at least i read the book damn <laughs> We're chapter 11. And it's supposed to be catching our live reactions. That's why we read it all live. Yeah. yeah. All right, Sarah, let me see you pick this book up. Let me see Ooh. you pick this book up. All oh, y'all talking some smack, but all y'all got to catch up. We are trying to advise Dale and not skipping the juicy parts. That I'm just too- trying to figure out what I should do then because we don't want to be on this live for five hours while I finish this book. Oh, okay. you're worried so, that you're going to be well, you just slow. start are from the beginning and get to where you get to. Where are you at? So I know where you're at. Um, like, She is happening? currently talking to Angelo at this place, this bar. Okay. Um, They're at a bar. Yeah. Oh yeah. You have to read this chapter. Oh my God. Okay. Jayla, you can't skip this chapter. Monique, is, really is it Halloween? Is it no. Halloween? No, it's not. It's, it's not, not Halloween? It's no. Not Halloween. She's on chapter six. Um, well, you have to get to the Halloween chapter. So whatever chapter <laughs> that is, get there. <laughs> okay. Well, okay, wait, before we go any further, Sarah, why, what? You don't like this book. Why? I just like am not in the mood for a romance right now. Oh, so it's not the book itself. I mean, it could be the book itself, but also I don't know, like I feel like normally when I'm sick, I read more, but I just like haven't been reading at all. Like I kind of hate books. So Join the club. <laughs> I really wanted to make a meme today, and it was just stupid. It was a stupid, silly thing. It's not even that funny, but I was just like, I really felt the urge to make a meme today of that the lady, the old woman, and her like granddaughter, who's like, I don't know, helping her in her stroller or something. And I just wanted to be like, there used to be a time where I read books, and they would be like, let's get you back to bed, grandma. Oh my god, no, I know. I picture. I'm picturing exactly <laughs> this. Yes, I know exactly what you're talking about. I was gonna like, post her little that. yeah thing. I was you gonna post that, and I was like, "Uh, I don't feel like making it." If someone wants to make that meme for me so that I can post it on my story, I'd be very appreciative. Thank you. I got you. I'll do that <laughs> instead of reading. Amazing. Ill advice. Enable <laughs> each other. Do not enable each other. I know. I like us to all read this. What's Hello, up? everybody. But where do I go from here, though? Because I've had a lot of brain fog. So I don't remember that much that happened. So do I start over? No. You did that with the other book, remember? You no, did. just you don't have to start over. Sarah, you're a fast you reader. I think you could definitely no. Y'all read the whole thing. Well, you guys could just recap for her. I don't think you. Yeah, that's what I'm to... saying. No, we don't have to start over. Just tell us where this you are. This is the thing, right? Yeah, that's the one. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I mean, I, once like, I got you. 
Is it very plot heavy? Um, so far, they're doing a whole lot of nothing. I mean, I don't think so. I think there's like one or the two. The plot reveals. is the romance, you know. Okay, yeah, so like Sarah, you don't need to start over. Just, I mean, if you don't want to read it, don't read it. But I don't think you need to start over, Sarah. I think it will. Where are like, you again? There are two what characters happened? you need to know: Angelo and the girl Laura Blake are her name. Also, nice, why, does, Roy, why does Roy. Angelo have no chapters? Why is it dual POV? He he, he chapters. gets chapters. Oh. He gets a lot of chapters. You are he, on chapter six. <laughs> I know, but so far it's I've only out very Rory heavy. It's very Rory heavy. It's because it's mm -hmm. setting up a lot of the characters in the family, and Rory is there a lot because she is in the yeah, anyway. Because she's the virgin fiance. Well, yes. Apparently, Sydney said that I'm on chapter fifteen. So, what happens from chapter from the prologue to chapter fifteen? Well, I can help you with the first six chapters, so. Just, like, a recap. Like, I mean, I don't even know if you would call it spoilers for stuff that happens. You know what I mean? Unless, like, somebody's dead and then they're not. <gasps> like, well, don't say any start with that. a funeral, so. Um, you know. Both his hands have book open because I don't. I, can't I mean, exit out of this tab. She essentially is oh. engaged to the uncle, right? So he's the the other head of the like crime family, but like they have there's like three different ones, but they're all the same family. But like you know what I mean? Like it's like three brothers because mm -hmm. they're older. Okay, that's like Angelo's uncle. That's yeah. what she's engaged to. He's like 75 or something. And he keeps making these lewd comments like, can't wait until our marriage night so we can finally pop that cherry. Oh, or like wait, wait, weird stuff he's like engaged that. to his uncle? She is engaged to Angelo's uncle. Yes, yes, he's 70. Yes, because they struck a deal. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. It's and this back. has not been, the deal has not been revealed, but you know that she is there for, for a, reason. a reason yeah she's not doing it for love she's not doing it for love so she's then, not that's shocking <laughs> i know right this romance who knew but then she starts going to visit her father who lives in like this cabin the other in the, yeah in the forest and it's kind of like a mystery as to what's going on with the dad because she only can visit him for like an hour at a time like twice a week, something like that. So like there's something going on there and you don't really oh. know why she can't see him more, but she can't. He also has caregivers that stay with him. Hey, Dawn. Hi. I'm not you oh, saying hi for me. <laughs> <laughs> um, so there's that. So then you're like, wait, okay, something's going on with the dad. Then Angelo shows up and he's just pissed because he's like, this girl's a hoe. Like she's trying to steal my uncle's money. Like she's, you know, just here to like put out and blah, blah, blah. Then he finds out that something happened to her at their old school. Right. Where apparently she had like an altercation. She got sexually mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. yeah. I remember that. Yeah. yeah. At the old school. So then he really thinks she's a hoe and he's like, you're out here. You're so blah, blah, blah. You make me so mad. But then he ends up being trigger happy about what's his name and pop pops him. I'm trying to, Boy, do, I'm trying to do spoiler now. free. I'm trying to do spoiler he free. Be revealed. I know. I know. Oh, nobody, no, nobody's no, gonna know. No. Nobody <laughs> has to know. No one's gotta know. So then that's when she's like, huh? Why he do that? Does he like me? And so then they keep like coming into contact with each other. Okay. Mm -hmm. And yeah, then. I think that's you know, enough. Yeah. That's, I think that's about the part. Cause like they have started to see each other and be around each other more often. And Angelo, who said he would never come back to be the head Wait, of the family, you're saying too much. No, I'm not. He literally has just come back to be around his family. And they're all like, oh, what are you doing here? Why are you in town? Yeah. Yeah. So he's like hanging around and everybody has questions. They're like, why are you here, Angelo? And he's like, I'm just coming to take care of some business. 
and you don't know what the business is. Right. And you don't know what the business is, but like, we all know what the business is. The business is Rory. Let's be honest. Mm -hmm. And that's my 15 chapter recap. Thank you very much. Thank you for that. So literally nothing has not happened that I haven't already read. Did I say that right? We tried to keep the stuff detailed. Yeah, I tried to keep spoiled. it spoiler free. So like there's some stuff in there that happens, but I just I mean I could skip to chapter 15 now, right? Because no, because it's, it's oh. the chapter Halloween 11. Scene. It was always, always like, like can I you skip the Halloween <laughs> scene? I just don't think I could support you reading the book anymore. Okay, I'll read the Halloween scene, whatever that means. It takes me back to when Jayla was like Oh yeah, um, I'm just gonna read after at like five times speed and everything will be fine. <laughs> and it was fine, and I finished okay, it. Kayla, so. just skip to skip to chapter eleven, then we can be in the same place. I like that idea. Is that the Halloween? No, Halloween has not happened yet for me. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. What, Sarah? Oh yes. wait, never mind. Maybe it'll be a secret. I have a pitch for something. You are so funny. But if you, you don't so receive funny. it well. I don't want to give it away. You know what I mean? Because I'm going to do it. Can we? If, like, we don't collectively do it. A pitch for like the group. a private thing? Or... <laughs> it's like a book we could read. Okay, well, should Jayla's, we discuss it privately? Or we just July, it is it? Jayla's picky next month. Yeah. Yeah, I know that. Okay. So, just, so you, you need to, do you know if you aren't thinking about it? This is the time to think about it. Me? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you gotta tell us at the end of the day. Don't worry, I've been thinking about which Hunger Games fan fiction to make you read. I've been thinking very hard. Honestly, down. <laughs> Honestly, you picked the Ballad of Songbirds and Things because I still need to read that book. No, for God's sake. <laughs> yeah, Honestly, no. Sorry, all right. Let's, wait, yeah, sorry. Let's talk but to I'm the chat here. Yeah. Oh, hello. Hi, chat. I love this. Jean said she finished Please. <laughs> Yes, I, yeah, Jean was like, oh, I'm done with it, but I'm not going to reveal how I felt about it until the live, so reveal, Jean. There you go. Let us know. I'm reading a new fantasy release, The Will of Many by James Islington. It is the magical school revenge plot with a class system, giving very light, only if you squint, red rising vibes. Okay, well, that's you know. I was telling you about, Christine. Yeah, or I was like, Jayla, go ahead, send that my way. Thank you. Come Thank again. You. Thank the way you. I was shook that Red Rising wasn't a trilogy. I mean, technically it was. Well, it was at first, and then he decided yeah. to... He did a Shatter Me. Yeah. No. Oh, no, yeah. you're not liking Happy Place? I've heard a lot of people say this about Happy Place. I didn't like it either. Um, I loved it. So, well, there you Also, go. Halloween was so good. It didn't oh. happen in Chapter 6. Where is Manda? You That's know? the question. That's the million dollar exactly. question. I think Manda's gonna be a little MIA until she gets married. And then once that settles down, you I think know, she'll still be MIA once that settles down. But I like that you have yeah. optimism. <laughs> That's she'll be more great. present. I just know that the wedding is definitely a lot. She's doing a lot with that right now. So yeah. I'm reading Call Me By Your Name for Sprints, okay? Ooh, We're going to get Hell yeah! Wait, That's can I show it. off my my book? Absolutely, you can, Sarah. You I don't have to ask. at Barnes & Noble, and I was like, I love it. Oh, oh cute! Isn't it adorable? Yeah. Very nice package. I love that cover. I only ever see the movie cover, like the blue one. Yeah, but that one's good. It is. I They've like got to make some changes to those. Yeah, because of what's his name? Yeah. Armin okay. Hammer. There's a documentary about the Hammer Empire, like on HBO, and I really want to watch it. The Hammer. Oh, I, I watch that with you. When I get home. Ooh, watch party. Well, hook it up. Um, I love this series. Can't wait for Gabe's book. There you go. Me too. Who is, who is Gabe? Help me. The brother. Oh yes, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. He got some problems. We'll see what's happening. He does seem very mysterious I, so far. I, I don't know like where I'm going to start next, but I have a twenty plus library books to choose from. Amani, you should give us some titles, and maybe we can help you. That's so stressful. I love this. You should start over, Sarah. 
Um, I'm at 91% of teacher of the year. It is so cute. Male romance about a kindergarten teacher and a single dad. This is so cute. Who, who do y'all think you are? Honey. What? That does sound cute. That is so cute. Anywho. The engagement to the uncle is on the back of the book. Okay. Yeah. So that wasn't a spoiler. I understand. I'm also oh, on yeah. chapter. What? Okay. And I like it so far. I just haven't wanted to read ebooks. I hear you. I hear you. I'm in an ebook slump as well, which is sad. I just finished Practice Makes Perfect. It was way better than Happy Place. Just saying. DNF's Happy Place at 50%. Okay. We are on a DNF Whoa. spree. Oh, I'm waiting for my paperback coffee. Mm. Yeah. That was funny. Love the cover. Gabe is the psycho brother. I know. This is literally my trending, like um type of bad guy i guess i always like this type of character the crazy brother waiting on the game one two i finished the first three this one's monique's favorite rafe <laughs> i no? like rafe and penny no i like i like um i like tor i was like tor's my favorite character <laughs> he seems Tor's kind of funny he seems so doo-doo like, like, just a little yeah. poop face. Yeah, that's a good book. <laughs> <laughs> it goes Angelo Tor, Tor again, and then Rafe, and then Gabe. Tor like Rafe. I think you like Rafe twice. You're so annoying. I cannot I keep think on of mixing up. <laughs> I keep on mixing up Tor and Dante. Never. <laughs> Don't do that. It's just Dante. like when they mention the names. Tor's I, brother. Yeah. Wasn't there a tour in Angelo's cousin? Oh, isn't Dante like the little like dumbass? Isn't that no, Dante is the It's the son of the uncle. I don't know. Tor's brother. Yeah, <laughs> it's Tor's brother. I'm gonna exit the chat because I don't know what the hell we're talking about. <laughs> I don't know what we're talking about either. I just saw the name Rafe and I thought of Outer Banks. That's all I had to say. Me too. I know. That's why Rafe is third. That's why I thought that Monique would like him. Um, Cassidy said, loved Happy Place, one of my top books of the year. And Destiny's like, y'all are scary. Y'all are about to start Happy Place. No, I mean, I love Happy Place, like so Say, don't let them scare you. Everybody just talked at once. Say something again. <laughs> I haven't read it yet. No opinion. Monique's just waiting for the paperback. Yeah. All right, I was saying I loved it. I was saying okay, I loved great. it, so don't let them scare you. I have never read an Emily Henry book, so Let's try it. And then Can if you we, don't like how it, how do we exit it. someone out? I just feel like I just feel like are you talking about Jayla? <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you do that? Mo did that last time. Remember when you were like behind the scenes? She wasn't even <laughs> on screen. <laughs> <laughs> That was a small, <laughs> that was a sly joke. That joke. <laughs> you had to be paying attention. And I'm going to tell you, I wasn't for a second. <laughs> I like that look of That made me laugh. Oh, that was funny. She said, I'll exit physically. Okay, look, here's the list. Here's the list. Oh, I mean, see. I mean, oh, number one, go with number one. Babel, I'd yeah, say Babel. you should read the fifth season. Fifth season is pretty good. I mean, out of all these books, out of all these fantasy books here that I've read, fifth season is probably my favorite of these. Chloe Brown's good for a romance, though, if that's yeah, the yeah, vibe. Romance. But isn't that a library Brown. book? So you shouldn't read fifth season now if you're going to annotate it. All right, Monique's thinking smarter, not holler, harder. Wait, what do you mean? They're um, all laundry looks? What if you want a mean? short and sweet time, go Silver. You know, they have 20 plus, they have 20 plus library books, and then this is the list. River of Silver. Well, isn't Fantasy Series reading the fifth season? We are. That's why I picked it. I was Indeed. trying to plug your book club. Oh my oh. god, who are you? You need to work on that self-promotion thing. You know... There's so many things going on. I'm like, y'all know what y'all know. Y'all know. 
which y'all know. Fifth season is very good, though. I mean, I really enjoyed it. But also River of Silver is pretty good, and I'm obsessed with Dick. And get a so. life Chloe Brown. Get a life Chloe Brown, yeah. Good romance. So maybe that's, you know, whatever your vibe is today. Hello. I love this. Driving to the beach right now. But <laughs> at a stoplight. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Jayla, you cannot. I get this message from Jayla, and it just says, Catherine, aren't you moving in a week? Your room does not look like it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she's not wrong. There are boxes. I see alive. boxes in the background. There's boxes. Oh, okay. My bad. It's still a lot of stuff not in them, though. Where are the boxes? <laughs> I see two boxes. <laughs> I've had a lot going on this week. Okay. You have. I'm cool. sick. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's I'm why sorry. I messaged you privately about it. I didn't put your business out. <laughs> I'm sorry. The, the private message is hilarious. It's like it's so silly. It's so silly. Are you moving in a week? <laughs> uh, like, yes, I have to go through. I haven't even like looked at my like bookshelf. It's yeah, all still there. Thing. That's How you talking about books is the there. worst. Media mail. Um. Yeah. Combo of um driving them in the media mail so bless mm -mm -mm. when i moved i got those like oh my god what are they called i just had a brain like the u-haul boxes what yeah like what are they called though boxes boxes <laughs> no Bad. i think i have a picture of me with one just say like the a pod type thing. Yeah, yeah, a pod. I got um, a pod and put all my stuff in there, and then they ship it for you. Yeah, the problem with that is New York has a lot of rules um, in terms of like Ew. shipping pods. Yeah, where it's like you you can't like just leave a pod there. It's they basically have to bring it on the truck, unload everything, and immediately take it away. Um, yeah, because I got like quoted for a couple different companies like that, and they were all like, and it's also Fourth of July weekend, so they all were like, Yeah, it'll be like five thousand dollars, and I'm like, huh. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah. It's gonna be a alt delete, you know? <laughs> yeah, here's me with my pod. <laughs> Look at you. Wait a minute, wait a minute. There's me with my that pod. <laughs> Why is she so cute? And then there's all my stuff inside the pod. Oh my god, they need to sponsor you for all this free promo you're giving them right now. Oh, yeah, um, look at you. Um, that actually looks very convenient. What a time to be alive. Honestly, I agree. COVID mask and all. Um, also, Jean, I felt this as well. I wanted Tor and her tattooing friend to get together as well. That's what I wanted to do. Yeah, I was like, they got the chemistry. She's over here like, I'll do your tattoos whenever. I was like, say less, girl. You are flirting. You are flirting. I love Tor. I almost dropped my phone so I can scream. Are they flirting? Are they? Anyway. I love Tor. I don't yeah. know. Will, I want him to have a book. It's cute. Mm -hmm. Thanks for keeping me entertained. I think Happy Place was most similar to Beach Read out of all her books. So there you okay, go. Still liked it. Gave it four stars. I agree with is that. Is Beach Read still the, like, the top tier? Okay. I love Beach Read. Okay. No. Um, also love Carrie love Soto. Yes, I agree. The audiobook is great. I haven't read Carrie Soto, but I really liked Malibu Rising. So. Is that the tennis book? It is the tennis yes. book. I read Malibu Rising and then immediately jumped into Carrie Soto. Oh. Hello. What are you reading if you are reading with us or not with us? Let us know. Um, okay. We're through the comments. So I say we do a little sprinty poo. Hey, buddy. Hi, Sherman. Yeah, he's being real. Look at this. Look at this little bookie. Oh, man. Hey, buddy. You want to say hello? Look. Look this way. He refuses to give us any attention. And oh. I respect that. Very he's about to go to sleep. The side eye. Hey, buddy, go to sleep. Eyes are glowing. 
anyway, yeah, he's got he's the sun is hitting him. Anyway, um, yeah, well, here we go. Jayla, everyone has their fave em Emily Henry book. It's different for everyone. See, I was under the impression that Book Lovers was everyone's favorite now. It's book Lovers is my least favorite out of all Ooh, of them. That is, uh -huh. Beach Read is my favorite, but none of them have been a five star for me. I see. But what was Beach Read for you? Four? Yeah. Four. Mm, okay. Um, I liked Beach Read more than Book Lovers, but Book Lovers I really did enjoy. So, yeah, that's all I got. I haven't read the other one, People We Meet. Well, what's going on? <laughs> she's, she's probably having to work right now. Oh, she's like, like I gotta go. I, gotta go do some work real quick. I just wanted to make sure Christy was in the right. <laughs> And she said the right title. We have Emily Henry Police, I see. You get on my nerves. Like, I just, go somewhere. You need to make sure Beach Read is still in high regard. Wait, you wait, haven't wait. read any other. I mean, you read what? People We Meet on Vacation? I do need to read Book Lovers, but you haven't put the book. Yeah, back, you haven't so even read Book Lovers. So don't talk to me until you read Book Lovers. Wait, get out where of is here. my book? It's on the shelf. <laughs> it's right there. There is that a domestic right there. happening right yes, now. <laughs> Sherman's like, I'm out. There's too many. There's too many going. He's like, he whipped his head. He thought Monique was in the room. Wait, has All anyone right. read Love Theoretically yet? I need to know. Yeah. No, but somebody said that they, it basically is like a new trope. What What did they say? You know the who hurt you trope? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's like a subgenre of that called what happened to you. <laughs> yeah, it is kind of. Right? <laughs> And so yeah. that's what that book is. That's that. That's the new trope. And I'm like, it's not yeah. new. I liked it. I didn't love. I felt like it was a little anticlimactic at the end. Um, but it was still fun, and they were very cute. Okay. Mm. Did you like yeah. the 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 love hypothesis? Yeah. Like I've enjoyed all of her books. I think. I think I lo liked Love on the Brain. I think that one's my favorite. Yeah. I don't remember what I gave Love on the Brain. Like, I'm trying to, I remember reading it. And yeah, I was like, you definitely it. read that. I didn't read it. I didn't want to read it because people were like, it's a carbon copy of the Love Hypothesis. It really isn't. No. I don't know where people got that, but it's not. I remember liking it, but I don't remember if I liked no. it more than Love Hypothesis, which probably means I didn't if I can't remember. This is so funny. I oh. will say I liked Happy Place other than the romance. Like, I didn't like the romance, and that's what killed the book for me. Mm. Yeah, Sarah's got to be in the romance or else it's a negative 10 stars. See, it, the romance in Happy Place is complicated because I don't even know if it can really be, like, classified as, like, a romance book. I don't know. I really liked it, but, yeah. What? I think I'm going to love Happy Place. <laughs> <laughs> work I, think, I think you'll like Happy Place. Um, I, think, I, I really think liked it. Too, I feel like with Emily, like, I haven't disliked any of her books. I always feel like whenever I read one of her books, there's, like, a theme that, like, fits to my life. So I'm always like, this is the best. Um, yeah. Also, <laughs> she is the main character. This is <laughs> I am the, the main character. <clears throat> this is the book chat. I'm going to share the screen really quick. You can see the book haul here. Oh, wow. Ooh. So... Oh wow! I see. So, oh, I see some oh, good ones no. and bad ones. Ooh, <laughs> bad hair hair ones brown is really the answer. I wonder if I can zoom in. No, you can do it again. Just take the comment down. Oh, here we go. There we go. Sarah's thinking. Wow, you know what? That, you're gonna read all of these? What's that like? So this is such a variety. Back. I say go live then carry Soto. You know? Honestly, Crown's fate is really looking good to me personally. I don't Honestly. know what that is. You but, should read Matt McCurdy because it's going to be a great audiobook and super fast to get through. But you did. Is Crown's it Fate the sequel to Crown's Game? I'm um, going to say yeah. It looks exactly the same and it's by the same person. I'm going to 
Legends is really good, and it's sapphic. So yeah, I was gonna say that. Okay. Waters of red water. Yes. Correct. <laughs> you win. <laughs> All right, y'all. I'm gonna go. Okay. Bye. Maybe you will oh. sprint by the time. LOL. Maybe. Yeah, I'm thinking we're gonna sprint here soon, like right now. Like right this minute. Yeah, like literally this minute, we're gonna sprint. <laughs> so, um, I like to do longer sprints. How do we feel? What are we feeling? Half the at least needs to finish. Yeah, it's gonna be at least an hour sprint. Yeah, but like, do we want to do an hour and twenty and just come up at no. the? No, I don't want to do that. At the Jayla's like reading. I want to do an hour. I'll support that. Yeah, an hour is good. All right, so let's do. Um, it's a sprint, not a marathon. Exactly. Y'all just want to put zero zero there, and y'all just had. Yeah, <laughs> it's just because we like when we sprint on our channel, we do like an hour and some change. So like, I'm in that kind of a move where I'm like, let's just do like an hour twenty three, like. <laughs> but it's fine. Um, we do it okay. that long. I'll forget that I'm on a live. <laughs> You just start doing other things, start packing your stuff. Like, you start packing. You're like, I'm out of here. Bye. Um, okay, <laughs> cool. So let's just do an hour then and we'll come back. I'm going to do it at the 38. It's like personally hurting me to do that, but I'm going to do Just do that. it for the 40. Yeah, well, you could Sarah, do it to the you 40. Want some hour and, you want an hour and some change? We can do an hour and some change if it makes oh, you feel better. Yeah, they are. These <laughs> young y'all people. Y'all, I mean Christine. Y'all young people. Yeah, but oh. y'all, I mean Christine. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think she's talking about us. <laughs> <She's not. laughs> oh, hour and some change, people. Okay, we're coming back. There it is. See you in a little bit. Oh. God, I hate being this big. <laughs> Bye. You better get used to it because you're a star, baby. That's why I make myself super tiny with a timer. We ain't doing that.
Hello. Hey. It sucks. <laughs> I We're look up you. and I just see Christine go. <laughs> like what is happening <laughs> we were telling a sherman story because monique was like yo today when i left the house sherman was really trying to die and i was like what do you mean and she goes as i was stepping down our stairs every step i took sherman's head was literally under my foot it's like he was saying break my back break my spine kill me mother <laughs> So then, so then she said, so I literally tossed him. I tossed him inside and I said, yo, he'd be annoying. Like when he annoys me, I toss that cat. Like I'm just like, Shoot. like I just like toss his ass. And she goes, yeah, that's what I did. I tossed him inside. And then I said, you really not going to want to be outside when you go to the vet in three days, huh, buddy? <laughs> oh you know what's coming. And that was the story. Not hey, really. to your I have something to say. Yes, Sarah. This is, is for, this is this is go this one goes out to my girl Catherine. Okay. <laughs> right when the sprint ended, I got an ad on the video I was watching. Oh! There he is. <laughs> <laughs> Everywhere. That's my man. Oh my gosh, I was <laughs> Where was I? I was like at a bar or something and we're sitting there at a table and my friend like hits me and goes, look, and I look up and it's one of his T-Mobile ads. I can't escape him. This is He's, your always, He's obsessed you with me. What can I say? Yeah, it is. <laughs> you. <laughs> you nailed it in one. So you watched a video instead of reading is what I'm learning. <laughs> Well, I started reading Spy Family Volume 9, and then I got sidetracked, and I wanted to eat. So then I was like, what video can I watch? And I was watching Aspen's 1K Q&A, and it's over an hour long. So, like, I was just sitting there watching the video. Invested. You were part of the 1K. Yes, I was. <laughs> How did everybody else's reading go? I didn't get incredibly far because I was looking at options for July, but I did read to chapter nine, which is a long chapter, but I've met the tattoo artist friend. Also the part yes. that Jill mentions in her comments a few minutes ago, like she literally read the trigger happy lunch scene right, right after I read it. So I think we're about around the same place. But yeah, that was hot. That was that was hot. I don't hate the man. And that's surprising. Like I normally would only ever want to read the girls' POV, but I actually don't like the girls' POV. And I'd rather read what's his name? Angelo. Angelo. I wanted to call him astrology. I, want, I don't know, interesting, less unbearable. You cut out for a second, so we didn't catch the first oh, part of that. Oh my god, if that was so funny to call it's him the way that you were like possessed for a second. You we were, were just like, like astrology. Astrology. And we were like, oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> I will not repeat myself. Anyway, Angela's POV, good. Rory's POV, boring. Wait, I just like every time she curses with a bird name, oh my I god. lose like hours of my life you know <laughs> wait jayla i feel like you're kind of wrong about what you said oh i feel like you're kind of wrong because i feel like you hate all of the women povs that we read like i feel like you hate them. <laughs> that's not true i told you repeatedly i hate dual pov okay they're still bad but when there's a guy his chapters are usually worse is what i'm saying so I'm always like, we don't need the guy. I don't care what men think. I don't want to hear what a man thinks. And that's why I'm always like, no, no dual POV. Just give me the girl. Okay. Is the math math? Okay, fair. <laughs> okay, yes. Uh, that may sound a little contradictory, but it's never like, it's usually tolerable. Whereas a male POV is like, oh my God, I get it. You're a man. And you think with your penis. And that's- No, I kind of like the men. Like, I don't like the girls because they are just so naive most of the time. This one's definitely not naive, so that's, I guess, refreshing. Is she naive? No, she's not naive. I don't 
I think, think she's, she's naive. naive. Yeah. She <laughs> said so that is the exact, the exact same, same way. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think she's naive. I don't think she's naive. I don't know, though. Yeah, I mean, okay. she, like, the, the bird thing is, like, a weird thing because it just, it makes me feel... Like she's almost infantilized, you know, where it's like, oh, I yeah, can't yeah. Words that I say <laughs> bird names. He also was going to pilot school. I'm like, the things do not, they don't go in the yeah. same. All of it makes sense, like later on. Yeah, I will I'm say sure. That. He loves well, things I that thought... fly in the sky. I mean, yeah. birds, airplanes. It all works for the character. It's not. It's not just a quirky thing that he does. I mean, it's a quirky thing. I think it is so just a quirky like thing. there's like a reveal of why and I, she does it. And why she has these quirks, you know? Yeah. That is revealed. Not, it's not like saying the author, like, just... Oh, because I really thought it was it just the author's way of making her funny or interesting. And I'm like, you're not funny or no. interesting. No, it's not like, what's his name? I don't know how you feel. Squirrel all the time, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, you're not funny or interesting, so... Yeah. Nobody likes you. I'm My like, thing with Angelo's what, what is POV is I feel like there's like he has a whole other plot going on and I just don't care. <laughs> I mean, I don't care about mafia business, so if that's true. Yeah, anytime there's like mafia business happening, yeah. I do kind of just skip through it. But I do like that they're like bad boy hunters, you know? Yeah. I like little, that. Little vigilante. That's the better. That's a more... <laughs> I like that they're shadow hunters. There you go. It's my favorite Taylor Swift fight. song. Bad oh. boy hunter shit. That's right. I like that. They're quirky. Yeah, so far, so good. I do regret not reading. I, re I regret that I couldn't focus on the first slide because I think I would have enjoyed reading this with you all. But I'm definitely not going to finish it tonight. But I do plan to actually finish this one you're so. like wrapping up like are you, are you about to yeah. exit the chat or what no but <laughs> i could <laughs> is this gonna be no, a repeat I well i will just finish it now no 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 everyone monique, else yeah monique talk about your experience yeah. i'm enjoying it i'm on chapter 36 Monique's almost, almost done. 90%, I think. Monique is following the assignment. <laughs> How many chapters are there? Are there like 40 chapters or 40? what? Um, she's gonna she's gonna check. Also, Christine, I saw that you're reading There's Fourth Wing. 39. I am. I'm reading Fourth Wing. Oh yeah, I need to hear the I need to hear the tea on this. It's, it's yeah. pulling the community apart. So I got influenced. Also, Nikki got it for me for my birthday because she's a sweetie pie. Um, so yeah, I mean, I'm only 60 pages in and I'm doing like a spoilery kind of vlog for our Patreon. So all the, the true thoughts will be there, but, oh, oh, you're getting closer. I can't see. Um, but yeah, I mean, I see why people say it's a YA 2010s written book. Mm -hmm. Hi. You know, am I like a good obsessed thing with it yet? No, not yet. But I don't think I'm too far in. You're like on forty. Is it? I'm is, sixty. Oh. My is favorite it, thing. Oh. oh, go ahead, Jayla. Sorry. Just a quick question: Is it is it being a YA 2010s then thing a good thing or a bad thing? Um, I think if I had read it when I was younger, I'd be like obsessed with it probably. But like oh. because I read a lot of adult fantasy now the descriptions and the repetition is annoying to me I see. um but yeah it's like you know like when you practice something so much and then you get really good at like recognizing things mm -hmm. like that's kind of how i see me with fantasy reading now so it's like i don't need to have things told to me five times like i can pick it up pretty quickly so but that's not really like affecting it like yet because I know that that's how the book is written so I'm really just trying to enjoy the experience and I'm guessing like what's going to happen so that'll be fun if I actually guess the stuff right so yeah cool. but there's definitely like a little love triangle happening they have dragons the dragons are intense um yeah that's what I got what so were you going to say Catherine oh okay <laughs> 
I'm sorry. I, I, totally forgot. I was like, the way I was like, oh. <laughs> I only I, asked because, like, I associate the 2010s with, yeah, that's a great, I mean, that was a great time for real. Yeah, like a great era. Yeah, when yeah. you said it, I was like, is that a bad thing? <laughs> that's great to me. I think, yeah, for me, I feel like because I don't read fantasy, like, I would probably like it better. Since I'll be able to tell you out. more, like, when I finish it. I'll be able to, like, recommend it or not recommend it. Maybe. I am reading it soon regardless, so. Oh, okay. Well, then there you go. You will be reading it. I think you're going to be really bored in the beginning, Sarah, if I have to say. That's me with most books. Yeah. I'm very bored. In the oh, I remember what I was going to say. Okay, I loved go. um, people were discovering that the author is Mormon and it was like a thing for a hot second. <laughs> Isn't this a sexy book? It is. Interesting. Fourth Wing is? Yeah. yeah. I heard it was new adult, so. Yeah. Yeah. It's just like written, it's written like a 2010s book. Like I, yeah. Like, like you know when they give you a lot of like exposition kind of, and stuff? Yeah. Wait, what? Like tropey and like has like Yeah, the... it's like very like you know, like low key, you know what's gonna happen, like before mm -hmm. you're even reading it. Like I don't I don't wanna give anything away, but like I literally am reading it and I'm like, oh, this is about to happen, and then it happens. You like know it I mean? follows a formula, is what you're saying. Yes, it's very formulaic and also like I said, there's lots of like exposition and like it's like the character thinks things. So are you in very early up in the book? Yeah, I'm just talking about how it's written. Okay. Um, the character like thinks things and it's like stuff that has already like happened. I don't know how to explain it other than that. You know what I mean? I don't know. Yeah. Like when she like notices things, I'm just like, okay, girly, but she said that in the description. So why are we thinking it? Again. It has been pitched for fans of the Divergent series. Are you seeing any of that? Like you did say it is like 2010-ish type of. Yeah, well, and that's another reason why it's giving 2010s, I think, because they definitely have like the, you're getting sorted into kind of like, a, you know, a, a uh, what were they called in Divergent? Faction. faction. Yeah, yeah, you're getting sorted into like a faction. You're getting sorted into um, like in the Hunger Games, you know, a district. Like everybody has like their own thing in the dragon like factions. So, you know, and different, you know, different dragons do different things. So it is kind of like that in that respect. Interesting. I just but, think yeah. it's funny how Jayla like heard the Hunger Games. I feel like it's not even conscious at this point because. You were looking over here, and then as soon as she said the Hunger Games, you were like... <laughs> no, I didn't. I was not even listening at all. I did not hear that. Jayla, get your action figures out. Um, why must you always? No, thank you. You have Hunger Games action figures? Heather, you haven't seen them. You haven't I haven't seen them either. either. Why? You guys have not seen these dolls? First of all, no. we are exposing you. Go ahead. I don't even know where they are. Oh, I'm sure we have pictures. Don't make me pull out the picture. Don't, you don't don't need to do that. <laughs> Just do it live. We need a coffee we'll letter about mafia romance. Which, by the way, is it just like... Is there, is there a bigger mafia than... The Hunger Games? <laughs> you don't even have to say the thing. What are they oh, you want to elaborate on that? Bigger mafia oh. than the... I'm I'm not following you. What, what is it? Bigger <laughs> mafia than the... What? What? <laughs> what? Is there a bigger mafia than Is it controversial? Can you not say it? No, what, what, what's in Hunger Games? Who does Snow work for, Jayla? Come on, help me out here. Who does Snow the work capital? for? The Capitol? Is there a bigger one than the Capitol? Oh, yes. you really thought you ate with that. <laughs> I would have if she had her head was quicker. I, I didn't remember what it was oh, called. I forgot. You like, huh? I forgot. I you really it. thought you I made a connection. That That's all. so funny. It's it funnier that you were just like, I don't know what you're saying. Just say it. Oh, well, no. I think this is a more serious mafia. So we're going to talk about this book now. Um, My question was, I have forgotten it. <laughs> you're like, let us get back on track. so good. All right. <laughs> where are the action figures? <laughs> action figures. 
act. Talk about other stuff. Figures. Action figures. Action figures. What? Action figures. What? Action figures. Action. Wait, Mo, do you still have your drawing? <laughs> That's in somewhere, Christine. No, it's not. It's in the book right there on the shelf. Wait, what drawing? Show and tell. Show and tell. Ah, show and tell. Show and tell. Woo! It's right there behind our picture. Well, that's my picture, not yours. There's so much happening. I know. All right, here we go. Jayla's first. You're muted. Ah, no, please. <laughs> Hi, my name is Jayla, and I have a problem. This is. <laughs> I oh, love it. it. This is Kato. Oh my God. Can you see? Okay, there's Kato. Not Kato. I know. I don't know why my aunt got me. <laughs> this is your little room. Oh, Thank you. And those are my action, my collectibles. My collectibles. She got know. you Kato and Rue? She also got me uh, little Hunger Games Barbies. But I took those out of the yeah, box. Like, we are the one. Oh. <laughs> and then I also have PETA, but again. Yeah, yeah. that so. these are the boxes because the Barbies have been played with. <laughs> <laughs> Please remove me from your screen. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. In the background? Oh, where did Where'd Catherine go? go? <laughs> what? She laughed so hard she couldn't take it. Catherine exited out. <laughs> In the background, what? What is happening? Stop doing that! What do you want? <laughs> Hi, you're back. This is really chaotic. What's going on? Wait, I was gonna I ask definitely you. Definitely accidentally pressed leave studio for a hot second there. Oh, we were wondering what happened. Is that a white <laughs> fruit? Why, yes, it is. Good eye. Oh, he's so pale. <laughs> he really is. <laughs> This is the skin of a killer. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. I love it. I have a framed picture of him up on my wall. I love that it's framed. Yeah, my friend got it for me for my birthday. Like, like a picture of Dwight or a picture of Rain Wilson? Is that his name? Dwight. I love that. Has to be Dwight. Anyways, what was Mo going to show us? Oh. The drawing. From um, Reader uh, Dare. I guess I couldn't log it. Frame. <laughs> you guys are breaking up. Oh, oh yeah, no, the connection just got so bad. <laughs> oh no. It's like As really funny. See, there is a picture of PETA throwing a football. That's Brad. At Katniss. <laughs> There's also a flying pig. Wait, what is up with Katniss's head? I don't remember that detail. Katniss oh, yeah, is yeah, very yeah. sad with her really long right leg. Yes. <laughs> oh my God. That's an iconic it's picture. The show she's sitting. Why she is Katniss's head an egg and Katniss's head a watermelon? I'm <laughs> also, in case you didn't know, this is the bakery. <laughs> <laughs> Labeled bakery. Mm -hmm. This is true art. It should not be sitting also in your book. The it, should be... face. <laughs> it shouldn't be sitting in your book. It should be on your wall. Oh my gosh. It should yeah, be... That be on display. No, I was going to say, she she act like you lost I would buy that coat. <laughs> She always tries to act like I torched it or something. And I'm like, I'm never torching that. No, you gotta because I just wish I understood what people's brains do when they start drawing. We wish that we understood your brain when you drew it. Because I yeah. thought this was a brain. <laughs> Honestly, Picasso. <laughs> the next Monet. You know? Mo. Nay. Oh. Mo -nay. Mo -nay. Mo -nay. Nope, it didn't work. But yes, exactly what you we said. Tried. We tried. Um, Ooh, anyway, what? that show and tell time is over. Anyone else want to share anything embarrassing? Catherine, I'm sure you have a collectible or two. Um, I don't oh, know if I'm embarrassed by any of it. You have the Dolly Parton. Did show us the Dolly Parton candle? I yeah, I showed the Dolly. Oh, my friend got me um the first shadow and bone in French. That's not embarrassing. That's though. not embarrassing. If anything, that's 
cool. Why are you trying to be You're cool so right now? Annoying. You're rude. <laughs> My friend got me the first Shadow and Bone, but it's in, in French. French. You know, in French. Oh, is that quirky? I don't know. Um, <laughs> oh, I zip off myself <laughs> of someone. This is from the like Shadow and Bone promo. I don't know. Ooh, I bought it off of someone. What is this on suit? eBay? It has oh, Shadow and Bone stuff in it. Collectible. Oh, Ooh. No, there's like a scarf. Do you ever um, wear that scarf? There's a candle. Shadow and bone doll. Okay. It smells kind of funky. <laughs> oh. Interesting. It smell like <laughs> I was gonna say, does it smell like incest? <laughs> Wait, shadow and bone. <laughs> You're doing the wrong stuff. I heard that shadow and bone. I think it's that book. What book did you read? Mortal Instruments. You mean Shadow, shadow Hunters? I did mean Shadow Hunters, and I'm sorry. Poor Jayla. Um, I have to make a special request that you acknowledge Dana's existence in the comments. Oh, I have not even been looking at the comments. I'm so sorry. I've been reading them on, them on my own. Um, Jayla's subconscious knew. This is Hunger Games related. Yes. Thank Yellow you for coming, heart. Dana. I love you. Go to bed. Mwah. Okay. Thanks for that. Um, I wish Jayla reacted to me that way when I'm in the chat. I know. Honestly, we all do. Let's go through the chat really quick. All right. I finished Happy Place. I gave it 2.25 stars on Goodreads. And once I buy the book, I plan on reading Yellow Face by R.L. Wong next. That sounds like it's going to be a good time. Where you yeah. get trigger happy at the dinner table. There you go. That was fun. No, Sarah. We can talk Red Rising and the Adventures of Amin al Sarafi. Now, do you still hate reading? I just finished both books. I'm reading Lovesick Ellie manga till my library books come in. I, I don't think you've read Red Rising or The Adventures of Amina Osarafi, have you? Nope. Okay, there we go. I was like, she hasn't read it yet. There are so many books that have come out. I know. Mm -hmm. And I've read none of them. <laughs> Lauren Asher is not for me. Honestly. I told you. I told that. you. Oh, you should just DNF. You're no. on, not even at 50. Just but, skip the second no, 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 no. but she doesn't DNF ever. I know. It's the second half of Lobby. It's my Jaya's. Um, I was trying to push her to DNF final offer? No. Yeah. Final offer or terms and conditions. One of those. But I was like, DNF. DNF. And it wasn't she happening. Was like, no, Lydia, Stop I trying to make fetch that. happen. Regret now buying a different book last week. Not Poor Lydia. That's right. I felt so disappointed. Oh, that's sad. I hate that. Mm -hmm. I hate that when you get disappointed about a book. You're like, why not buy this? If you still have the receipt. You probably can return it. I mean, I would just return True. it. Or exchange it. Mm -hmm. There you go. 53 pages of the will of the many. Nice. I listened to the first 40 minutes of Mortal Follies by Alexis Hall and got to page 33 of Jade Legacy. Okay, not you flipping books. I almost started... Oh my god, I always get it wrong. Yes. Tor is fine, and he needs more book time. What's the first book in that series? <gasps> Which one? <laughs> Jade something. Jade City. Oh yeah, right this time. I almost yeah. started Jade City during that last spring. Out with I would literally people. die if you started Jade City and started liking it. I'd be like, wow. There is hope for Sarah. Tor you know? and Wraith are... Right now, there's zero hope. For I know. Me. You're over here watching videos. It's okay. You're slumpy. Casey, she's nice. The bird cursing is annoying. It's all for the cause, though. It's all for the character work. Yeah, y'all will see. Y'all will see. We'll so see. Exciting here. Did you turn yeah. into a bird? Is that, like... She was a bird, bird the whole bird. time. It's a shift to romance in the end. And that's right. Everything is a shift to romance. Everything goes back to shifters. <laughs> As Absolutely. it should be. <laughs> Absolutely. We've got Benchies. Christine, fourth is entertaining, not perfect. It's true. I'm not asking for a perfect book. I'm just telling y'all how it is. You know what I'm saying? I'm there's just a, describing it. There's a cover reveal for the second one. I don't, but it didn't say anything about the edges because they're black, but it doesn't have any like illustration or whatever. Maybe she'll put Simply. in some fire because that's what it looks like. Maybe it's a surprise. Well, that's why I thought it would say like 
oh yeah and this is to be revealed soon but it didn't say that so i was like is it just when you order it you'll get it. it's gonna be a surprise that's what they're saying or maybe nothing Who people knows? are going crazy over that book though trying to Fourth get a wing. hold of yeah yes. trying to get a hold of it I know, I'm like, I feel very lucky that I have this copy. So. Yeah, I feel lucky that I have mine. I had zero intentions of reading it, even when I bought it. I just wanted to have that edition. And then I was like, I kind of feel bad that I, like, took it from someone else who, like, would actually want to read it. So now I'm going to read it. You should read it and then give it away. No! Even if I hate it, I'm <laughs> keeping it. I have to keep it for my collection. No! <laughs> She's a collector of fine things. Baby, if you like it, just go out and buy it. Good one, Mo. <laughs> yes. Confirmed, Mormon. She is. Uh, someone I, I, someone on TikTok was like, it, Fourth Wing is as if Stephanie Meyer had, like, actually committed and, like, gone all the way and not fade to black with the, like, you know honeymoon scene and all that yeah yeah i've seen some like deep dive videos about like twilight and mormonism and it's like wild but they were saying like so something similar with fourth wing but she actually like committed to the bit <laughs> i don't know if committed to the bit is a real thing. committed to the bed you mean <laughs> committed to the my. bed <laughs> yeah my golly all right well like I said, I'm only 60 pages in. It's like a 500 page book. So I still have a long way to go. But I mean, I'm not hating it. So I've only I'm seen still. one person who like didn't like it and DNF'd it. Everyone else. Oh, I wonder what I wonder how far they got. Do you know how far they got before they DNF? Like page 70 ish, I think. Oh, so it's around. Okay. Okay. I can see that. I can see that. Yeah, like, I don't even think they got to page 100. I think I mean, it's, it's definitely a slower start, but not too slow. I mean, it's not terrible. I've seen a couple people who haven't liked it. Um, and it is people who read like a lot of fantasy. So yeah, that might have been it. Well, that's what I'm saying. It's like, if you can pretty much guess everything that's happening, I can see how that would be annoying. Mm -hmm. But there was one thing, I guess, that's not right. So I was like, okay, you got me, Rebecca. You got me, girl. You got me. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> but the dragons are cool. The dragons are cool. So if you're a dragon person, I feel like, yeah. Money, what's happening? Just... You can't be doing all this in the background and not explain yourself. So go ahead. What K-pop thing is it? It's actually my book. I was reading the book. Oh, you were reading the book? Yeah. <laughs> Almost done. Wow. Well, don't. Just save it for the sprint. Or else there's no reason to sprint. <laughs> what do you Mom, mean? Like, can we wrap this up? Like, <laughs> oh, money's going straight into book two, y'all. Oh, oh my god. Saying. So every brother has a story is what I'm, I'm... It sounds like Rafe is book two and three. Yeah. The other two mm. have two books. Maybe that means she gave four half the plot. Who knows? I guess we'll find out <laughs> when you start it. See. Um, I went in with low expectations and had a fun time. Yeah, I think it's it's, it's gonna be fun. Dragons and Tent sounds campy. It's definitely yeah. And this book's about dragons. <clears throat> yeah, dragons and tents. He he. Um, yeah, they're it's like a a school where they learn how to be dragon riders, and they're going they're getting ready in case like war happens, which I'm pretty sure war is going to happen. It's definitely written young. It's got some steam. I think that's what Catherine just said. I don't know what you said, Catherine, but that's what you just said. Okay. That's about what I said. Mormon, about, that's what you said. About the Yaros being Mormon. I was like, if anybody's it's not a quote, big deal, y'all. <laughs> just it was. Yeah, not, not like big. alert the media. <laughs> <sighs> I was it like, was if anybody's a funny little facts right, it's gonna be these two right here. How do I do it? The damn. Y'all two. You're not referring to me. No. What? I was like, wow. What is happening? These two. You and you. Why can't you just point? I don't know. I was trying what to do about like, us? thing. I was yeah, what are you saying? Wow, nobody listens to me before I pointed, huh? I said, if anybody's going to be right, it's going to be these two. Yeah, but you were yeah, trying to talk about this. <laughs> what the heck? Okay, you have to pull the opposite <laughs> way. No. 
<laughs> Catherine, I try. <laughs> here, here, here. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. Um, we had it more together. Just let it go. Done. <laughs> Nailed it. Oh, wow. First try. You on the back of your arm. That was hard. Don't ask what? me. What? You have a tattoo on the back of your arm? Yeah. Isn't it the Hobbit hole? It's my little yeah. Hobbit hole. Oh, I've never seen this. How yeah. snazzy. Cool. Thank you. What are you talking about? I thought she showed it off many times before. Well, I wasn't listening then. Very good. Um, I have no idea. Yeah, the eye candy visions. That's right. The descriptions. It's so funny too. She'd be like, she'd be talking about these men. I'm like, ah, ah it's hilarious. Anyway, it looks like a crab, not bread. Oh, it's a pig. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot if that happened. It is artist interpretation. You know, it's whatever yeah. you. No, want I, artist. The art is in the, in the beholder. You know? It's true. Exactly. Hi, Mia. Yeah. From Texas. Hey there. Howdy. Howdy do. <laughs> Remember that time? Howdy do. Howdy do, everyone. <laughs> You're like, okay. That's what That's Texans say, right? Oh my God. Plot wow. twist. JLo picks like a cowgirl romance for us to read next month. Oh, I should eventually talk about those. Oh, yeah. I have options, so I want to run them by you. But we should also I probably do another sprint. By the group or oh, sprint, the... sprint, sprint. Yeah, we'll do a sprint. Okay, guys. So we're gonna pause here at the comments. We'll come back. We'll come back, but we are gonna sprint. So let's go. Ahead. Let's go ahead and do it. Wait, I do want to answer this really quick. Did I DNF it? No, I finished it early. I finished it before everybody because it was that good to me. Mm, I think Amanda finished it first. She did for she sure. Did. For sure, she oh. did. Okay. Well, you read it the next day. Yeah. There you go. So, yeah, I'm just reading Fourth Wing because I have already finished. What are you going to read after? You said the second book? Yeah. Because you're finishing this prayer, huh? Okay. Is it going to be an hour? Yeah. Then, yeah, I'll finish. Let's do an hour. How many minutes do we want to do? An hour. To the 13? Oh, I was just... like, ew. <laughs> What? Why are you huffing over it's here? You know, by the time we start, it's going to be the 15. <laughs> Wait, is this a last sprint or are we doing another one after that? No, this is not not my last sprint. I don't know about all y'all. I'm pretty knackered, so I might call this my last sprint. Why don't we go until the zero, so 45 minute ish sprint, and then we come back. We say what the next book is and then maybe do another sprint or maybe not. I'll do a 45 for y'all because I love y'all, but know that I'm not happy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, but we do need to talk about the books that are coming up for, or the book, excuse me, pick that is going to be for next month. So mm -hmm. I will agree to this. Yeah. Because I feel like a lot of people will start to drop off after 11 my yes. wow she's looking at the statistics okay like i said when these two say something they're not wrong um okay cool so we'll go to the top of the hour wherever you are and um then we'll talk about what we're going to be reading next month so see you guys in a little
Hello. I'm giving it five stars. Five stars. Wow. Yeah, yeah. five stars. <laughs> five stars. I wonder if she's giving it five stars. Hey, hey, Mo, what are you going to give this? Oh, I'm going to hit five stars. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Three, four, five. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Okay. Thank you for that beautiful intro song. Yeah. I'm so glad you loved it. Um, I have a question. Is the only reason you call it the Halloween scene because she was wearing Halloween socks? It was on. Wasn't it on Halloween? Yes. Yeah. No, it's on Halloween. Okay, I, yeah. I did skim. I did skim the chapter, so I might have missed. <laughs> <laughs> she said, "I thought I knew something, but I did not know it." I was just confused. Was I was like, chapter seventeen. Is... Yeah, when you said that, I went to that chapter. I skipped the first half Maybe because it's thirty-four pages long for some reason. Stop. I mean, it's oh, at the okay. end of the chapter. When the admittance, the confession. We can't, I don't know where you started in socks. There's a specific thing that happens. This particularly spicy. Did you go to the correct chapter 17? I went to 17. I read about him beating the crap out of some guy. And then. You skipped it. Were in the, I skipped it. <laughs> I just don't see. If you don't know what happened. you Nothing spicy. Before the bike shop or after the bike shop? That's a, a little bit more bike specific. Shop? I don't remember bike shop. He went to a bike Are shop. Are you reading he... the same book as us? <laughs> what if I'm not? Wouldn't that be crazy? No, I definitely am. The, she was like, hey, this guy back in the day threw acid at his girlfriend. Oh. Did she That's go out and party? That. Did she go out and party for Halloween? I don't think the I... chapters are the same. Oh, maybe they're not. She like, goes out for Halloween. Like to celebrate Halloween, not yeah. Oh, wait. <laughs> I have a question. I have a question. You guys say, you guys say Halloween or Halloween? Oh, what did I just say? Who says how? how? No one says how. Halloween. I say Halloween. Halloween. I say Halloween. Well, she goes out yeah. for Halloween. I'm from Halloween. Halloween. I'm from the I say Halloween. Halloween. Um, Halloween? No, I've never said Halloween. No, I say Halloween. Yeah, Personally. Sarah, isn't it because one of your family members is literally from Britain? <clears throat> Halloween? Well, a whole half like of my family is, yeah. Yeah, so, so I'm right. I'm okay, love to hear so it. So confused. But how would that correlate to saying Halloween? That's how they say it. Yeah, their A's are different. They don't say Halloween. They say Halloween. Oh. They say Halloween. But there it says Halloween. But I say how. But they say, say Halloween. I thought you don't said they? you say Halloween. No, she said Halloween. Halloween. Oh, did yeah. you? I thought you were saying Halloween yeah. the whole time. <laughs> I said Halloween. I can't hear. Get me out of here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the Take me to the nursing home. <laughs> <laughs> I must go. Okay, she said it's nearly Halloween in chapter 17, so it must be chapter 18 or something. But anyways, okay, so I, I was waiting for the juicy thing and it didn't happen, so I was like, all right, I guess Mo gets excited by things that are not that exciting. I but am so over here. <laughs> Halloween was the juiciest. That's when I said, okay, let's see, how many times have you taken this exactly? Oh yeah, it must be chapter 18. My bad. Oh, good. Now I have to go back to chapter 10 because that's where I skipped from to go to chapter 10. Layla, if you're gonna read a book, just read it from start to finish. Like, hello, tell them, tell them, zing, zing, zing. I wanted to know what the girlies were talking about, and I still don't know. You'll get to it when you get to it, okay? <laughs> but if you keep skipping around, no one can keep track of where you are, and you can't keep track of where you are, and where you stuff is supposed to happen. I hear ya, I hear ya. I'll also, don't back. get like too hyped. Oh, like it's a yeah. good scene, but it's not Your like when you go with the pace really of the book. low. <laughs> okay. It's good when you go with the pace of the book because it, it slowly, you know, but if you just skip that, you're gonna be like, okay. 
And then you're going to be more angry. for everybody. Because she, like, always skips. So she's always like, none of it's making sense. None it's of it not is good. good. Like, this is what you guys are squealing at. I'm like, yes. I read the book on Because I read 19, 18 other chapters for this moment. <laughs> Do you want me to finish the book or not? I don't know what you want from me. Like this I, I already, I've already finished five stars. It's your choice. I know, but I want to read some of the books we read together. This is the one you should read. You should read it. It's actually the guy is not a bad guy. I'm enjoying it. Yes. Okay, so Mo gave it five. Sarah's DNFing, I assume. No. Okay. I don't really think, Sarah, you would like this book. Maybe it's a pause for now, Sarah. But I honestly really think I would have to restart it. He's really okay. about her, Sarah. He's okay, Sarah isn't a TBD. Christine, I don't know what you rated this book. I'm giving it a 4.5. He's giving it. That's very high. Okay. I don't know what Amanda gave it. I also don't know what Amanda gave it. I mean, I think she liked it a lot. She was really loving it, or she wouldn't have finished it as soon as we got off, so. Yeah, and I like the reveal of like her dad's backstory. I, I like that part a lot. <laughs> Chris. Oh. What? So, yeah, me too. I love said, Jayla that is word. truly like, how dare this book have words and pages? <laughs> <laughs> I do feel like that sometimes. <laughs> words and pages. <laughs> like, what are y'all reading how for? How dare? <laughs> like, is this a book club? Reading sprints? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't read during what? that sprint, though. You did read. What did you read? I was reading Spy Family Volume Nine, and I have like five pages left. Oh, why don't you just wrap that puppy up? I got. I was trying to, but then I was like, I gotta, I gotta zone in on this. Four point five is high. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's definitely good. As soon as I said four point five, I low key was like, maybe it's a four. (laughs) Wait, did you (laughs) call pilot? No, but it feels. I feel like it's in between a four and a four point five. Like. I, th- I honestly want to say it's like a like a, a four probably like a low four but I mean I'm it. still saying it's like a three but that's because because the mafia thing isn't really my vibe but see I'd be liking the mafia thing like I'm, he really said do, 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 do. <laughs> like even I'm gonna the, kill even everybody the, even the cheesy parts I was like it's perfect the part where they're going and like finding the people and chasing them down. I'm like, this is like the purge. Honestly. <laughs> I'm loving it. Catherine, I don't mean this as a call out, but when do you have to start packing? I thought you moved to NYC soon. Oh my God. Well, Christine, not, you were here earlier when Jayla called me out on this. There you I go. I do in fact move in a week. All the clothes are still in the closet. All the books are still on the shelves. All the posters are even still on the walls. It's not it's not making sense. Look at your face. You don't have to move out every item in this room. Like, right? here's the thing. Here's the thing. Some here's items thing. would be preferred, yes. <laughs> not her fight for her all, life. <laughs> first of all, I've been sick this past week. Today's like the first day I'm like actually feeling better. Aww. So there's that. Also, um, I do have like I had to clean out, I had a whole storage unit because when I moved back in with my parents I'd like put a ton of stuff in storage so like that whole thing has been cleaned out so I've been doing that um but yeah I do have to move in a week I have not packed I'm excited I, I can't wait the majority of my things I can't wait. But I don't think it's not gonna take that long I packed the night before literally <laughs> my, my mom was sick of me I packed the night before I moved to LA <laughs> Monique was so good. The night before. <laughs> See? Yeah, it was a mess. Don't be I, like her. Don't be like her, it's Catherine. Just how it's gonna be. She literally <laughs> has talked for years about this box of books that she has been missing from our move. <laughs> Lo and behold, she left this box in South Carolina. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm talking. She thought that I had thrown out her books. I, at one point. I have checked the garage both <laughs> And she was like, did you throw out these books? Because I swear, I swear I brought this book with me. This is my book book back in the day. And I'm like, I didn't throw nothing out. This is your stuff. Why would I throw your stuff out? Sounds like a true reader. Right? 
I would never like no. And then lo and behold, she goes to back to Christmas this past December and she finds the box of books and doesn't even <laughs> tell me that she finds it because she's so embarrassed. Wait, from the initial move? And from the um, initial move, she forgot the box. And it's been how many years? It's been like eight years. <laughs> it's been eight years of her in my ear going, I knew you threw out my book. And it was I there the whole it. time. <laughs> It's not in the garage. Where are my books, Christine? Where's my super suit? Where is my super suit? <laughs> oh. And I knew it wasn't there. I've looked personally. I know it's not there. Oh, oh my I God. I had a memory implanted in my head that I knew it was the exact of and everything, but it was just never put on the See, this is what California. This is what we learned. It was, it was left. It was left, but it was left back. Oh, on the east. Brains are powerful. Okay, they make up things sometimes. Anyway. I wish I could put a <laughs> on people. Like if I could just put a little clown filter on Mo right now, I would do that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, sometimes I'll be watching so much reality TV where they like bleep out like cuss words that I, I wish that that was a thing in real life. Do so you want things to be bleeped out? Just I naturally bleep. The the like bleep has more of an emphasis. Yeah. Than, yeah. It's like bleep, like bleep, and the yeah. bleep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was watching a reunion episode and it was like every other word was bleeped out. And my sister could hear it. And she's like, all I could hear from your room was bleep, bleep, bleep. Do any of you listen to Drake? A moment. Not really. Okay, I don't really listen to him either, but I'm home in North Carolina, and that's the only time I ever listen to the radio because I'm in cars. And there's like this song that's like, when I think of you, I think of dusty, crusty, musty, da 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 da. And then when I think of her, it's like, and it was just complete silence on the radio. And I was like, no, what are these words he is saying about this woman? And it's not, I found out it's just like, F me, F me, F me, F me. But mm -hmm. this is not a wow. story. But my point is, it's me, so me, strange me, to me when. A song that has like so many cuss words is on the radio. It's like they have to they have to out. completely take out the entire the thing. Entire and thing. I was like, oh, this is like, what's the point? For some reason, um, I think was it like WAP? It, it was something like that. Mm -hmm. We in our like playlist at work, we had the <laughs> radio version of it. <laughs> How romantic! And we're like, yeah. It, it was a lot of silent. <laughs> <laughs> that wet, wet. That's all it is. Yeah. That's, 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 that's like crazy. a whole nother song. Yeah, <laughs> basically. Like, but yeah, it's like, what's the point of that point? Mm -hmm. like we know, oh, it's funny. It's for the, it's for the youth. It's for the, it's for the youth. It's for the youth. Yeah. Who's singing yeah. along? The the so, they have, so they can have their the kids, kids bop. bop version. Jalen needs a There is, is a kids bop, bop version of WAP. Oh yeah, my there God. Is. I might need to rethink my options for this. If there's a choose your own adventure erotica story, we have to do that. All right. Well, I'm gonna give you till the end of these comments. I think there are a couple. I think I give the first book the highest rating. I really didn't like the two with Rafe. All right. I love the mafia part. I'm Me with too. you. I'm with you, Joe. I've always been obsessed with the mafia. I like the idea of the mafia, but once they go into it, like the ins and outs of the mafia and blah blah, I get bored. Isn't that what Den of Vipers is? Yeah, like, mean, yeah, but they don't really go into details about the. They mafia. don't go into detail, and that's not the part of the book I like. Obviously, but like, there's so much romance. Obviously, it's the bottle. It's the obviously, bottle. I think it just wasn't pack. obviously it's the person's pack. style that we're there for. I just. I love it. Okay. There we go. I love she that you love it. Smiles. Oh. She was like eating the end of this book up, y'all. Why do I'm I always Maybe I love like up? his physical touch. Because I was literally toiling at the end. I always thought it was why do you say that? Wait. I literally feel like that little girl in the back seat that's just like you know. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's why, yeah, physical touch. You literally hate touching people. Yeah, but maybe because I just haven't found the right person. Oh, so if it was like your lover. Yeah. No, I that, totally. I hate physical touch. Like, no thanks. I love to cuddle. It's my favorite thing. I just be like, mm. I was really squealing just now. I don't know what it was. She, she, in my ear, I was like, okay. 
What were you saying, Sarah? I feel like it's always the books that... I, I don't know, that actually get five stars from people you, in this group that I just don't... I don't read them. You know what I mean? Like, the two monster ones, there were five stars in there. I didn't read either of them. I really did like the Dust Walkers. I am going to be continuing with that series, so... I thought that was fun. I think the next one just came out. It did. And it looks mm -hmm. so good. It I was like, so this man good. has scratches on his face. I'm like, he's getting in fights. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I cannot. He's a fighter. <laughs> okay. Oh, my God. I no, go. I want to I wanna read the rest of that series for sure. I'm eating it up. I am eating it up. Even though I haven't started the second one, but whatever. Yeah. Well, are those on KU? Mm-hmm. Sorry. Well, the KU 24-hour readathon is this weekend if you want to, like, join in and read them. Christine's I'll be moving. Like I'll be packing my stuff to move. <laughs> What's going on? Sorry. Sherman is being a Sherman. <laughs> anyway, what you Next say? month. Yeah, what are you reading? Oh, yeah, what are you, reading? What are you guys are talking about? So sorry. Oh, I said if you're planning on reading the series since it's on KU, Amanda and I are doing our KU 24 hour readathon this weekend, aka starting oh, tomorrow night. So wait, tomorrow night you said? Mm hmm. Girl, I've been wanting to eat up some KU. I've been wanting to eat up some KU. It starts at midnight or starts to Friday, like Saturday. Friday midnight, like Saturday midnight. Okay. Right? I mean, we didn't say, like, specifically what time you have to start, but we usually both start, like, 11 p.m. our time. On Friday. On Friday? On Friday. Okay. So I can start earlier. <laughs> but we'll be doing sprints sometime on Saturday, like, during the day. Okay. Nice. I'm down. I'm down. Maybe I'll do a little vlog. Maybe I'll F it up and do a vlog. Why not? Hmm. Yes. Hmm. Anyway. Um, yeah, that was a nice little plug. Anybody else got anything going on they want to talk about while we're here? I, I was going to talk about the books that are my options. There you go. I would love to know. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. Choose your own adventure, you said? Wait, why are you giving us options? Why are you not just, like, shoving a book down our throat? I have so many, like, I just don't she know what to do. Okay, ready? The first one. <laughs> We might have talked about this one already. I feel like Amanda might have brought this up. You want me to, here, let me enlarge you. Please enlarge. Oh my gosh, it's the same guy that's no, on that's the book. Oh my I'm god. I'm sorry, who is this? That's the, that's the model from the, um, hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh, Sarah's showing us something. It's this guy. Oh Ooh. my god. Oh, it is uh, that guy. Hello. Oh, oh hi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Is it is ripped. Is it the okay. same face? It's no, the same guy. He's like a okay, professional the model. Guy. He's making a really bad face in this photo, but good for him. But yeah, he looks better in the picture in the picture Sarah's holding. So anyway, this one's about a girl. I don't know if we've talked about this, so I'm sorry if we have. But um, she's upset because her father married someone younger than her, like a year younger than she is. She's probably like 22. And so she ends up hooking up with someone at the wedding. And it turns out to be the bride, aka the girl who's younger than her, turns out to be her father. So she's oh. like, if you're marrying my dad, I'll take yours. That sounds a, like a lot of fun. I love that. Honestly. I like that one. Yeah. <laughs> so that's the first option. The second option is Sugar Daddies. Oh, oh Sarah is. Sarah is. Oh, what about? <laughs> Sugar Daddy. You have a physical copy? Sarah there has it. Okay. I have it already. Have you read it? I haven't read it yet. Perfect. Uh, this one is like a girl answers an a Sugar Daddy ad on the internet for two people and it's it's a strange request it's like they come together or not at all if you know what i mean oh yeah they all, uh, they all yeah sugar yeah. daddy there it is there it is yeah okay and then the <laughs> last the lollipop one. supposed to be you know what i'm saying <laughs> yeah yeah oh sarah please don't read this and make it your personality again that would be horrible <laughs> 
She's well, already got the book. It's already her personality. The lollipop thing, remember? Yeah. Uh, mean, yeah. yeah. Does she not remember? Yeah. Oh, we got Rapunzel over there. The lollipop thing, yeah. Yeah. And finally. Your hair is so long, Sarah. I know, it's so long. <laughs> How does it not get caught in things? Like the chair. It does. Oh, no. Hey. Um, <laughs> <laughs> lastly, we have Escape the Island of Eldritch Lust. And oh. this is the, the Choose Your Own Adventure one. And it's like this girl who's a monster hunter. She's trapped on an island. She's got to fight for her life. But also she could just succumb to the darkness. And, you know. Mm. I want to do that. That might be kind that of fun. That actually sounds kind of fun. Because we're all different people. I think I will. Like, I like all of them. But I think we should do the adventure one. Sarah is, is upset. Uh-oh. <laughs> Sarah has three her chicken face. daddies. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. For the fun of it, it has to be the choose your own adventure one, you know? I vote for that. Shall we raise our hand? Are we are also, you though? It's not we could do the, we could do sugar daddies in August. But she wants to do the other one. Although no, you should that, that was timely. That. Okay. Well, this one is rated very highly on Amazon and apparently it's the best. My sister is standing in the doorway and I don't want to finish my sentence. <laughs> <laughs> Because they want to see my action figures. Goodbye. Anyway, it's the best of its kind on the Love. internet, apparently. The best it is okay. the best choose your own adventure erotica on Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> you are girl. Okay, anyway, so those are my options. I think, yes, for people who are going to read this with us, I think we'll do the Eldritch Lust. I'm sorry, Sarah. And it's available. Was, like, do you have to buy a physical yep, copy? This one's on KU, I'm pretty sure. Let me check. Okay. Yes, it's on KU. So. Can you spell that? Very excited. Sorry, I'm very excited. Escape the Island of Eldritch Lust. Um, you can also type in Princess to Pleasure Slave. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's Princess to Pleasure Slave Adventure number two, if that's easier for you to Google. So, um... There's that. I will find the dates for us to read it together. <gasps> Wait. Oh, the Jenica book is bad. Not this book. Okay. Gina's saying she heard that the daddy's book was bad. No, not sugar daddies. The <clears throat> take my daddy. The bride, take the tell the bride. The bride. Mm -hmm. So we okay, won't do that. Okay. <laughs> I'll be going to read that one by myself because that one's actually really short. It's like 104 pages. So I might even dip into that one alone. Who is the author? Some of the covers of these. The author is Amanda Clover. Amanda and Clover. J. Ari. Yes. Wow. This is so exciting. Something groundbreaking for our book club. Oh. You know me, I gotta change. I gotta switch it up, you know, keep things interesting. I know, we've never done something like this. <laughs> Y'all, I have to send you some of these covers that came up and suggested after. Oh, <laughs> God. Huh? Yes. Nothing. Vish saw it immediately. Can you? She recognized Oh, him. okay. We already Can answered you? all this. So, okay, say the name one more time when he's trying to download it. Eldritch. Something. Just look Escape. up Eldritch. Eldritch Island, it came up immediately. There you go. Eldritch. E L. E G E or C H Dritch. D R. And this is the cover in case that's people. Escape the Island of Eldritch Lost. Eldridge with a D. Eldritch. See? A T. You can know my there. Okay. So excited for you all to join us on my channel next month. B Day Month. Woo. Woo. 25, you guys. 25. Alrighty. I'm done taking up the attention. Um, I think this I'm is I'm glad hilarious. they changed the covers because what is this cover? What are you talking about? Let me see. For what? Oh. <laughs> uh, it's number 15. It says. Number 15 of what? It's just a This? I know, but it says goblin something. What does it say? Flavor. Oh. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, no, I was saying some of these suggested ones. Wait, can you show me what you're talking about? I cannot show it you. I can oh, send yeah. it in the chat. Oh, no. Is it that graphic? <laughs> yeah. I think that's what she's saying. She likes the manga looking graphic better. Oh, yeah. They're by the same author. Oh, all right. We'll get dates for you eventually. This is about to be literally insane. Money. That's what I'm, I think it's going to be really chaotic and hilarious. So. Yeah, because everybody's going to have a different thing. Everyone needs to be tuned in because we're going to be like, all right. <laughs> it's wild that it's, I mean, I know it's Choose Your Own Adventure, so it's not actually this many pages, but that it's 1,668 pages. Yeah, like con conceptualizing. <laughs> oh, my God. Insane. I'm going to go look at these photos. Ah! <laughs> Okay, one of them isn't that bad. The other one, I thought she was straight up not that? wearing underwear, though. I'm sorry, that reaction was really funny to me. <laughs> what? It was like, ah! Because oh. <laughs> like, I really what? thought she was not wearing a bikini. It's, it's oh, very I was like, where are you yelling at? It didn't seem that bad to me. I just first thought that was it. Well, anyways. Lord God. All right, Jayla, get out of here if you're going to go to bed. Go on, get oh. your girl. I didn't realize I was gonna get kicked out. Are we all going to bed? Oh. <laughs> Atherin, are you down to keep reading or are you done? Huh? Sorry. Catherine's <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm starting the adventure right now. Hey, hey, no, don't. You I don't know that's right. early. You have to start at the same time. <laughs> but I feel like for this one, we would have to we wouldn't have any time to like read it without each other. Like we have to read it. On live, fully on live, so it could be another Den of Viper situation where we have three. Squares. I mean, I'm okay with that. I don't know why we started constraining ourselves to two lives, but I know we're all very busy. busy girl. It's because of schedules. Yeah, we're all very busy. What am I looking at here? You're at the wrong one. What am I looking at? Oh, um, the these are the. I am disturbed. If you people are like this the, is uh, why I the, came the, on. I can see, it. I can see what's on my screen right now. <laughs> it's not well. It's not well. Not her wearing a cowbell. Oh my god. <laughs> oh lord. Not the milked one. one. Y'all want to look it up? It's called Monster Milked by Amanda. Oh, Cooper. I hate that title. Oh, okay. Why is it not Monster Milker and not like milked? Just sounds. Wrong. Yeah, it sounds. It should uh -huh. be monster milkers. Yeah. Yeah. I can't. I'm so intrigued. Anyways, I'm so excited that we've we've unlocked a new chapter for our classic literature book. <laughs> yeah, it's always the summer picks. Ooh, things really heat up in the summertime. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. They yes, really great do. Great job, Chrissy. Oh yeah, thanks. <laughs> yes, this is a good one. I'm excited to finish it on my own. Uh, Catherine, I was saying, do you want to do another sprint, or are you done? Are y'all wanting to do another sprint? I'm down to do another sprint personally, but I feel like Monique doesn't want to. How? It's kind I'm of Monique. you, Catherine, because you're the only one reading the book now. Like that, we're on the live for. Yeah, because I'm reading Fourth Wing. I got to a good part. So I, <laughs> I finished what I gave a five. Jayla, are you not going to continue reading? He's no. Going to <laughs> oh. Maybe I'll finish okay. it on my plane ride home. I mean, if y'all are done, then we can be done. You don't have to wait for me. I'll finish it because I am enjoying it. But yes, I will follow. I will put my thoughts in the chat later. Mm -hmm. What does the chat want to do? Do they want to keep reading? I'm going to say the chat's going to say keep sprinting. Well, I thought it was almost midnight. It, it is. Well, it is. Oh, I'm East Coasters. Sarah, yeah. are you wanting to keep sprinting or are you do, do you have to? All right. Chat, yeah, I don't go off. Do what happened last time. Let's ask the chat to side. Chat, go off. <laughs> Tell us right now. Y'all got to isn't going to be like, off. yeah, you guys suck. Like, leave. Y'all gotta no sound off, okay? It's true. They're not gonna be like, please get off. Go We're gonna go to bed. But it seems like everybody's saying keep sprinting. Okay. Sprint. Let's do I'm it. I'm down to do one more. Okay. How long wait, do we want to do? Wait, 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 wait. What's up, Sarah? Wait, 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 what? You're I do, though, want to give some credit, okay, to Chrissy. 
her inspiring. Oh yes, Jayla's pick. Thank you, Chrissy. I truly, mm. uh, your mind, <laughs> unmatched. Mm -hmm. Chrissy Loki pick Loki picked the wreck. Yeah. Yep. You got it. Ten out of ten. Um, this is another thing we should address: recommendations. Maybe you'll get a lot of recommendations if you do the Kindle readathon thing Sarah's talking about here. I mean, I would wreck high as bitter. <laughs> Bish was talking about that too. Just the whole series, but like this one. Is this particular. like a sex slave auction situation? What? I is mean, it, it's high as like a kook club. Like all the books are set there, oh. but it follows like different characters. But this one really leans into the daddy kink. So if you don't like that, then don't read this one. But don't mind if I do. <laughs> <laughs> the whole series. Yes, the whole series. And the next book is coming out in October. And I cannot wait. There you go. I think we're doing another sprint. Yeah. Well, I'm going to hop off then. Love you all. See you in July. It's going to oh. be great. Bye. Bye. And then there were four. Every time. <laughs> <laughs> Catherine and I are on the wavelength tonight. Same page. That's Same right. Page. I know that's right. <laughs> um. Okay, so speaking of same page... What do we want to do for a sprinty poo? How tired are we, Sarah? You're the one who's on the other coast right now, so how are you feeling? I'm always you know, down I'm, to clown. You're down to clown. Mm -hmm. To clown. I'm gonna oh, make a call. Doing an hour. Oh my gosh, Sarah! I forgot to tell you, I got Kit Kats. <gasps> Wait, do you like? Do you have them? Yeah, like I've got them over here. You gotta eat them. The I don't know how to eat them. It seems awkward to eat I'll it. I'll send you a video. Yeah, send no, me the video because I really don't know. Did we coach you so, through it? So she told me, Catherine, to like take the Kit Kat apart. Up, a bar, I yeah. Guess, apart, like piece by, like. Layer by layer. Yeah. yeah. Isn't and that the, like, the Kim Kardashian way? Yes. It's the Courtney Kardashian. Oh, way. I'm not one of the Kardashians. <laughs> but it is the superior way to eat a you gotta, Kit Kat. You got to like. Eat it along the ah, yes. <laughs> way, and then you bite across, and then mm -hmm. yeah. Like, send then me the video, and then the I'll, do it I'll do it on live. I'll do it on live. But I can watch the ones, y'all. The matcha Kit Kats. It's another level. Those are Ooh. good. They are fire. I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa! Chocolate ain't got nothing on matcha Kit Kats. Matcha like drinks. I'm like, whatever about like, give me some grass, I'll chew it. But like the matcha Kit Kat. Whew, that's a whole nother level of taste. I love that matcha. Give me some grass. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it tastes like, Loki. I'm like, why am I drinking grass right now? But I but love I'm matcha. Like, you have to make it right. Well, yeah. You do. Yeah, yeah. I think that's the issue. It's like the ones I drink are not cute. So, mm -hmm. any Steph make you one? Yeah, Steph can probably make a mean matcha. I bet a mean mm -hmm. matcha. Sherman, you hungry boy? You just roaming around. You looking for something to get into. Anyway, all right. So let's, let's, I'll get my Kit Kat. I'll bring it back. I will eat it on camera. Let's sprint. Do we want to do an hour and be crazy? We'll do to the 30. All let's right. Be let's be crazy. Let's, let's be crazy. Let's be loud. Let's do it. All right. See y'all in a little bit.
Hello. It's me. That's right. Oh, shit's about to go down. Okay. Okay. Did I hear something? Did I hear something? What's oh going God. on? Kid. Um, I just got to the part. So she found out about like the contract and that the, the, the clause that he put in and all that. Mm -hmm. And then they're at dinner and Angelo showed up <laughs> and Alberto's drunk. <laughs> Him being drunk is the nastiest thing. Like whenever she's oh, like, so hot gross. ass breath hits my neck. I'm like, ew. <laughs> it's unwell. Well, I'm glad you're having a great time. It's crazy. <laughs> it's a fun time. The family it's dinner. It took a little while like, to get there, but yeah. like now that I'm there, I'm there. You're like in it. Yeah. Are you in it, Sarah? <laughs> in what? Exactly. What are you in? What's going on? I finished Spy Family Volume 9. And then I started this book. Okay. And I'm on page 11. What but is like, that look how tiny. It's the tiniest book. Novella. So small. I love a good novella. I got, well, I'm participating in the Tarot Readathon, and I got the prompt of read the shortest book on your TBR. So. Oh, okay. Knock it out. Get it out of here. Um, you know, Monique, what are you up to? <laughs> uh, started book lovers. You started book lovers. Ooh. Yep. Yep. That's like far in. Page six. The funniest part. Sarah said that. I was like, book lovers. Why are we talking about book lovers again? <laughs> but. It makes sense now. I literally was cackling because, like, in that stream, I have to show you guys this video that I took for my vlog. <laughs> in that stream, Monique. Oh, damn. You can't even see this. Hold on. That's not even cute. You see that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they, someone pointed out that Mo was like shopping in her own bookshelf was great <laughs> so funny i was like what is going on money <laughs> and i would like look up and no one else was looking and i was just like am i the only one seeing her like staring at the bookshelf <laughs> I, mean, I think Catherine and i were more enthralled by your reactions to fourth wing we were like yeah oh. <laughs> you, were you, were talking, you were talking about you guys on camera too camera. I and we were just like, camera too. I no, because yeah. I literally, yeah, I literally was like, oh yeah, and my friends are watching me right now, and they're both just like, hmm? <laughs> I can hear you, but I can see you. I was saying some stuff. There was some stuff going down. When they said page 100, they meant page 100. That's where the stuff goes down. Loki was at page 84, but who's counting? Ooh. Oh, Sherman did take Monique's seat. Oh. His little leg. My lord, that's so cute. You're so oh my cute. God, I've seen that heating pad on my recommendation page. Interesting. Did you? Yeah. Christine loves to say I buy stuff from, from ads on social media. It wasn't an ad on social media. It was literally just on Amazon. and I Yeah. Found it, sh it, like, pops up as, like, shopper's recommendation or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, but, well, because my friend has a heating pad, and she was, like, using it on her back. And I was like, oh, I should get a heating pad. So I literally just went on Amazon and typed in heating pad. And then this one it's was cute. really cute. Yeah. yeah. Mine's ugly. I have, like, one that has, like, <laughs> it just has, like, a brown cover on it. Yeah, this one's so cute. I don't know. I mean, yeah. And also, I like the interface for this. Oh, I can't even hold on. This part, it's like Ellie, whatever. I don't Ooh. know. Yeah, I have to turn mine up to like the hottest setting. There's yeah. like four different settings on mine, and I always have to just like click it until it gets to like the red hot. 
perfect. Yeah. Well, this and this it goes up so high, like it's so hot. Ugh. Anyway, I had it on like full hotness <laughs> earlier. <laughs> and I was like, woo, I'm sweating. So, but it feels good. Anyway. Yeah. I'll share the link if anybody cares. I'll put it in the description. <laughs> like, it's pretty good heat and bad. Sherman's been laying on it for the past two days. Ridiculous. Does it have like an auto shut off like after two hours or you know? Whatever? It does. It has a timer. I just haven't used it yet. But it does have a timer setting. Mm -hmm. You can do that. I just haven't used it. So mine will just automatically turn off after two hours. See, I feel like that's the way to go. It is kind of annoying though, like do it that long when I'm just chilling and then it just turns off randomly and then I have to turn it back on. Yeah, you like wake up and you're like, where's the heat though? Yeah, but I get it. It doesn't want like anything to burst into flames or catch on fire. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, it's probably a good idea, especially since you're in a room with a bunch of books. Mm -hmm. There's no books in that room. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Oh my god it like throws me out i think one of my first the first videos that i watched of you was literally you like organizing books in your room that was like a lot oh yeah and i had my tv like yeah on the short one yeah that was Crazy. one of the first videos wow. throwback <laughs> we'll have to say goodbye to this Does room it ever drive you crazy <laughs> just half yes <laughs> Hey, hey. Hey. I know. <laughs> that's where it's going. Like, remember when Catherine used to live in California? That's what we're gonna be oh saying. Oh my god! Oh, stop! I'm gonna be moving soon. To where? Wherever the road takes me. Honestly, <laughs> come to New York. Know. I haven't really pinned anything down, but I have to move out by the end of the year. So I'm like, I could we either have to move somewhere else in the great state of Georgia. Or I can move wherever else I want. Wait, why Let's do you have to move? house in New York. Because my this is my sister's house, but she's moving out. Oh. And I cannot yeah. afford a whole ass house by myself. I, I so. believe that. You know, houses are expensive. In this economy, they are. They are. Catherine's like, I just low-key bought a house. <laughs> Going to New York. <laughs> God. It feels like it, but it's a yeah. studio. <laughs> mm -hmm. mm -mm -mm. It's like more expensive there than it is in LA. Like, it's crazy. I know. Are you getting like a bonus? Oh, yeah. Monique was very worried about this. Monique, come on over here. Tell her. Am I getting a what? She wants to know if you have a relocation fee from your employer. She was I very am. worried about this earlier. I do. Okay. She was like, are they paying for the move? Whatever. Not enough, I but I am getting. <laughs> not enough. I was just like, I hope it's not. Yeah. Okay, great. Okay, look, I'm opening yeah. my Kit Kat. Oh, are we gonna watch you? So, I mean, it's a mini Kit Kat, first of all. But mm -hmm. the thing is, when they were eating it, are you gonna break it in half of these? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So when they were eating it, like the way they were eating it. The Kit Kat would have already been melted by the time they had finished the Kit Kat. You know what I'm saying? No. Well, I think because they were explaining it, it took a little bit of time. I don't think it's that mm -hmm. hard. You eat the ends and then you nibble around and then you pull it apart. I mean, yeah, some of the chocolate does get on your fingers. I must just have hot try ass it. fingers. <clears throat> All right, well, here we go, everybody. I'm going to eat this Kit Kat. All right, so... You eat the edge, which I already did. You, I like how you gave me this one. Is there just like really yeah. good lighting or is that a white Kit Kat? I'm confused. Oh, <laughs> it's a white Kit Kat. It's like, what is this flavor? Oh, I think it's like cracker flavored. I don't know. It's in Japanese. Cracker flavored, <laughs> cracker -flavored <laughs> Kit Kat. Mm hmm. And then you eat the size. Mm hmm. Why did I sound like Christopher Walken? Give me a break. Give me a break. Break me off a piece of that Kit Kat bar. Okay. And then you see the Kit Kat. Yep. Why do I sound like this? Oh my God. <laughs> Why does that Kit Kat look so deformed? It does because it's tiny. 
So then you eat the top. Uh huh. So then you eat the top. <laughs> like that. Okay. Yeah. And then you eat the bottom. See, this was the part that my brain was not functioning because you were like, oh, you peel. Yeah. The word peel. You don't peel the Kit Kat, you break the Kit Kat apart, okay? Nobody's peeling. It's kind of peeling. It's like an ogre. It has layers. <laughs> Y'all are cute. I'll, I'll give you that. <laughs> All right. So then you eat the bottom. And then she said the best part yep. is the middle part. Yep. Look at that. That's the best part. Yep. That well, melty, wafer. chocolatey wafer. She said, and I quote, you'll never eat a Kit Kat any other way. Ever oh, wow, the bottom is delicious. That was true Listen, for me. I never went back. I never just... The bottom is good. The if Kim K good. does it that way, then... Oh, yeah, that's what I was saying in the chat. Mm -hmm. She said at the beginning of the video, she said, I ate my Kit Kats this way because Kim taught me mm. how to do it. I'd be like, okay, stealing it from her then. Because like, Well, that's why I think it's funny because everybody knows... Well, I love that she, like, way. gave credit to her sister. Like... Yeah. I feel like that's kind of out of character. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I truly will just eat this. No, oh, the pain me. That's me. The bottom it lasts so much longer if you just. I don't care if it lasts. I'm going for taste. You can get all the all the fixes. But the bottom was better. What what it separated. The bottom is just chocolate though. In the, in the cookie, the wafer. But the center <laughs> part with the. With whatever they put in there, the glue that they the put chocolate? in there, actual glue, but like the glue that's in there, that part, if you just like, you know, pull it between your teeth and just I like. I think I need a tutorial off. from you because Kourtney Kardashian wasn't doing it. You know, whatever you're saying, pulling it through your teeth. <laughs> she didn't say none of that. Okay. Yeah, saying, I don't know what that ingredient's that. called. The but ones that we we ate are these ones. Mm. That's a wheat or something. It's like wheat. Wait, does Nestle not make Kit Kats in America? Sorry, I'm oh. reading the chat. Jean says, supposedly Nestle makes Kit Kats in Canada and they taste different than the ones in America. I is thought Nestle made them in America yeah. too. I have no idea. I believe the different quality of chocolate. Yeah, like I would believe this. Yeah. Just because, yeah. like, the American, like, FDA. Yeah. And then they make it in Japan. Yeah. They're like, eat trash. You're good to go. <laughs> I think that's the mix for one thing. Lead in your chocolate? It's fine. <laughs> yeah. You want some, some freaking no. microplastics? Put it in there. Here Not you go. Have her fun. being here. Hold on. I need to say this. <laughs> Jayla, what are you doing? Get she out of here. Been here. <laughs> you are so annoying. Hey, I know you ain't read the book. Yeah, she's like, I'm going to bed, but I'll probably finish the book. Hey, Liz, mm -hmm. what's up? And Liz is here, ready to party. I love this. The deformed ones don't make the cut. Yeah. That's how I eat a Kit Kat. How do y'all, how do y'all, what is happening? Y'all just eating it like a little piece of corn. Like, you know tell me. Tell them, get a king size Kit Kat that comes with four pieces, right? With the long pieces. Cause I've never done it with like, no, I have. When I got Halloween <laughs> candy and you get that pack and it has the shorter Kit Kats in the pack. I'm it still, yeah, you told me this last time yeah. you said you did it with the small ones. But I like it with the long ones better because you really gotta like, ay, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so it is uh, like corn. You are the beaver. Yeah. You are the beaver. I still have to do my weekend like Sarah. So that's coming in July. That's when I'll do that. I'll be doing my little Kit Kat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and you know what book you're going to be reading? What is it? What's his name? The ma the older man. The older gentleman. I can't no, no, no. Oh, No. No, 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 honey. Oh, vipers. You're gonna oh, be reading. After, I'm sorry. Oh, hello. None of us have seen this book in our whole entire lives. It was a sugar spice book club pick. 
Oh, shit. I'm like, no. <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> Not the whole group being like, Wait, is that the same <laughs> cover? Because I just saw the post on that. Not the whole group being like, ew. No, but look, it's signed. Oh, my God. Okay. 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 So what was the rating on that? Uh, a five star, obviously. I, you know what we need to do? We need to read every book that Sarah has ever given a five star because I truly don't know her taste. I, I will saying. do that on the weekend challenge, but any other time. Oh, also during that sprint, if you guys saw me freaking out, it was because I was watching the last part of that Q&A video that Aspen put out. And it was she was talking about book boyfriends. And she was like, I'm not taking any questions about this, but Kenzo and Ryder from Den of Vipers? And I was like, what? I, mean, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't pick them, but I was like, Den of Vipers? Like, and then she picked it as one of her uh, three, like, Stranded on a Desert Island books. Like, Den of Vipers was one of them? I was yeah, dead. This is your person. I feel like y'all should be friends. Kindred spirits. Yeah, because that's very rare, I think. That's a very, that's a very rare thing that you found. But yeah, I bought this, and then I also bought this. Ooh. We've talked about this book on here. Okay, that one I've seen, I think. Double-edged, right? Yeah, this one's banned on Amazon. Amazon, why did I say it like that? It's banned? Yeah, you can only get it on her website. What's it called? It's banned on Amazon. It's called Double Why? Edge. Why? Why is it banned? Because Don't read that one. <laughs> trigger warning, everybody. I oh. want to read this for a vlog because it's like so unhinged. But this is like, Twin Cest oh. and also Stepdad. Oh. Yes, so like blood relatives <laughs> doing it. You yeah. just kept saying words, and it just kept getting worse. We've never talked about this on... <laughs> I'm sure we have. But it has a pretty cover. Look at that. It does have <gasps> a pretty cover. It can be deceiving. <laughs> Wait, what happened? I'm just so confused. What has occurred? <laughs> it was just my confusion. Oh, I <laughs> oh, I hear somebody go. <laughs> like y'all are talking, and she goes under her breath. What is this? <laughs> she goes. <laughs> and she goes. Stepdad. <laughs> so like her brain can't compute <laughs> what y'all just said. What y'all? What Sarah just said? Like twin says, stepdad. Who? <laughs> McKay, McKay read this and he put out like a full spoiler like review of it. I honestly, McKay, <laughs> he's a wild card. But okay, the was way like, if you clicked on this I video thinking that I love this book and like this is a safe space for you if you love this book, I'm here to tell you that it's not. Like, he <laughs> did not like it and was just, yeah. Well, I need to read a book that you've read, okay? No, so I know. I'm just saying, like, when you're reading this, I can read this. Oh, my God. Twinsies. This, yes. the hope is that I don't like it. The hope. Okay? Honestly, like the I said. odds are low. Yeah, I can't, <laughs> I can't judge your taste. You are a wild card. And you gave her other work five stars. Yeah. So, it's, it's over for you, but... You know, we'll, we'll, it's a safe space here for you, I guess. That's we'll right. never know what the book's about. Unless you make us read it. <laughs> Literally. We're going to do like a weekend vlog, like Sarah's life, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're living as Sarah. I, I'm going to do the vlog. I'm going to be like, hi, guys. Oh, no, wait. Hi, my little coffee beans. My name is Sarah <laughs> Shelves. And I'll say, it's so cute. Yeah. I'll figure something out. And then I'll say, Hmm. <laughs> I am Say it ain't so. I was telling my mom about it. I was like, I'm buying this book about the and she's like, Sarah. Like why would you tell your mother? I would never. Every time I tell my mom about anything, 
she's like, you're silly. Like, no, and when she says silly, she's saying you're stupid. <laughs> And it's fine, but I could get it personalized. And I was like, do I want this to be personalized to me? Like, do I want my name in here? Like, I don't know. So I didn't get it personalized, but it is signed. It says middle fingers up. But because I know I love this one, that's why I got it with my name in it. The twins are not. Mm -hmm. What, Monique? They're like twins. Yeah, they're like I'm blood the same relatives. Mom and dad. Mm-hmm. 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 Like they actual. Twins. But there's a step sibling in the mix. No, no, it's not no, a step no, no. Step dad. In the mix. So like credence. Okay. Yeah. Low key. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, because they had that little thing with the brothers. So the, each twin likes the stepdad. Each twin likes each other and the stepdad. No, they just happened. Have, you know Game of Thrones, Moni? It's Game of Thrones. Yeah. <laughs> Are you familiar with the one? plot of that never. show slash book? No. You, you've never. seen the first episode. The first episode, yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's literally the plot of this book. The first episode. I'm oh. like, listen, if I do end up liking this book, nobody can judge me, okay? Because everyone <laughs> loves Game of Thrones, so... I'm just, you just said but they don't love saying. Game of Thrones for that girl. <laughs> they don't love it for that. <laughs> Ain't nobody watching Game of Thrones because of the incest, the my girl. Thing. But they're not not watching it because of the incest. They're boozled. We said it was a safe space for you, Sarah, despite the plot. Exactly. Yeah. It's always a safe space, but I mean, are we gonna, you know, rag on you a little bit? Yeah. I really right. was like confused at how the stepdad. <laughs> <laughs> You just see all the, the equations just around her. Like, formulas. She right. said, but are they they're together with the stepdad? I didn't say that out loud, though. I was just like, twins? Yeah, you just said twin cyst. Stepdad. It was like... No, stepfather. That's what you said. You said stepfather. I said stepfather. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. That's so much more formal. Stepfather. I didn't stepfather. say stepfather. Oh, I thought that's what you said. Anyway, Jayla, go to bed. <laughs> At least read the Halloween scene. Please. She's just cuddling with her little Hunger Games action figures. <laughs> <laughs> with Kato on one side. <laughs> I know, I'm dead. I'm dead. I told my mom about Ice Planet Barbarians. And she goes, I won't be reading that. I was like, yeah. Fair enough. I'd be like, yeah. I don't respect you. Fair enough. <laughs> Fair enough. She's like definitely not a fantasy or a sci-fi reader. My dad is the fantasy person. Hmm. What? What was your question? I'm going to go. I'm going to scroll up really quick. Was it up yeah, here? I don't know what the question was. Sarah is moving to the big city. That's all was I got. it when you asked if we think about you when you're gone? Because we do. We, At least I do. I don't speak I mean, for the group. Yeah. You know? Whenever yeah. you pop up in the chat like this. <laughs> I'm going through all her comments. I'm like, hello? Um, it's chapter 18. We figured out. Maybe 19. I don't actually know. Have I read this book? I don't know. I read it. No. <laughs> it's true. I know what happened, but I don't know the place now. I'm so sorry. My phone's not beside me. Just where my Kindle app was working. Just how fast the night changes. Also, <laughs> um, Vicious Mom is the coolest because she reads all the fantasy books. She's like the one recommending the books to Vish, who then recommends them to me. So, okay. Wow. Mm-hmm. I'm like, Vish, what's your mom reading recently? <laughs> or like, whatever. She's read everything. I love it. Started to tell my mom about Ice Planet. So she probably closed her ears. That's my mom. She's a Capricorn. You know? Oh my God. So is my mom. Yeah. Nice <laughs> planets. I don't think she would ever. My mom would never know. No. 
I'm a I mean, she does read a lot of my recommendations. I think there was only one recently where she was like, yeah, I don't really like this book. And I'm like, is this the first time you haven't liked something that I've recommended? No. You're lucky. I recommend stuff to my mom all the time, and she shoots me down. <sighs> she liked that book you gave her. Which book? <laughs> Where the I didn't give her that book. She gave that book to me. Really? Mm -hmm. I gave her Malibu Rising, which she did not like. There's nothing wrong with Capricorns. There's absolutely nothing wrong with Wow, Capricorns. we got the cast in the chat. Hello, welcome. I'm just trying to give y'all a perspective of my- Love for the Capricorns yeah. and the gold. Can you hush for like if two Mandela seconds? Was you, you'd be like, eh. My relationship with Monique is like my relationship with my mom. Oh. So y'all see how the two personalities clash? <laughs> That's what it is. That's what I meant by that. You get on my nerves. Quit it. What? She did, yeah. Seven did. two book series? Yeah. What series? I know, I don't know a book series that has that many books. It's called Ice That's Planet so Barbarian. Many. I'm just kidding. I don't think there's 72. I I feel like there's like 40. Oh, something. Yeah. yeah. Remember when we were sitting around that like flow chart and we're like, how do we figure this out? <laughs> I know. Deep dive. Still don't know. My friend recently read all of Ruby Dixon's books, like every single one. Yeah, like all of the, like, what are they? Like the, With the dragon ones, there's the Ice Planet Home. <laughs> yeah, the Battle God ones. Mm -hmm. Yes, Bound to the Battle God. That's right. Like, I wanna those read ones are books. good. I know, I want to read those ones. I still have the one that you gifted me. I used to make books to read. Wait, hold on. Michael, what are you saying? There's a mountain lion outside. I'm reading a book right now oh written from God. the perspective hey. of a mountain lion. What? You're what? Are, are you, in the, you on the West Coast? First of all... I thought you were on the East Coast. Why is there a mountain lion over there? Right, where are you located? Second of all, what do you mean you read in a book from the perspective of a mountain lion? There's a book that just came out last, <laughs> this past Tuesday. Or the Tuesday before, I don't know. It came out this month and it's written from the perspective of a queer mountain lion living under the Hollywood sign. Oh, okay, that's cool. What? And it's... Like literally a hundred and eighty-ish pages. Oh, hey, that's the book I just got. The bad werewolf. It's, it's called Open Throat. Oh, the bad werewolf. What got an mean? audio book I wanted to read about oh, werewolf. Like what the hell? <laughs> Sorry. Anyway. But yeah. Okay. Well, Michael, please go back inside. Um. <laughs> Do not be tailing with mountain lions, please, for the love of God. Also, this is hilarious to me. My cat snoring is so <laughs> Oh, here we go. I live in the foothills of the Rocky Mountains in Utah. My heart is racing as far as the pool and ran my ass back inside. Good, as you should. I was like, wait, I don't want to be eaten, so let me just run. Oh, that would be so scary. This is the book. What do you do when you see a mountain lion? You call mm. the animal control? Not the mountain lion's face being the book. That actually yeah. looks cool. That's cool. How is that? Whew. Not the P22 fanfic. Ugh. Plus. P22? The mountain lion name. Oh. The one, I think he passed, actually. Mm -hmm. I have a question, but like I don't know if it's like I have an actual question. I, I don't love know it anything. Do this. I don't know anything about this, and I'm okay. sorry if it's like opening up a can of worms. I'm just genuinely asking because I have no idea. I'm definitely, so curious now. Definitely a can of worms for sure. What is all of this talk 
of submarines. Marines. We knew it. Wow. We knew I'm it so confused about. at what's happening. Well, there was what a you mean? device that went down. A tourist company went down to see the Titanic. Um, it, it was had a bunch of like five passengers. Mm -hmm. Um, and a lot of the passengers are very rich because they they were very they're rich. billionaires. Billionaires. They paid two hundred fifty thousand dollars to go down into a submersible. Creation. They so five to see the Titanic and then they lost contact with the with the boat. So they were missing in sea and everyone was like, Oh my god, oh my god, the people are missing. And you know, a lot of people were very unserious online about it. But it was a serious matter, you know, people are missing and they only had like ninety six hours of air. Of oxygen. So they started doing the news started doing a countdown and they were trying to find the submarine and then they found it. In pieces. Yeah. So essentially, this so the submarine like imploded uh, down below, and because of that, obviously mm -hmm. everyone has now passed. Um. But yeah, it was like really, it was just chaotic from the start because they went against a lot of regulations for this kind of like sea deep sea diving. Um. Mm -hmm. And they lost contact like an hour and a half into the the like. Not trip. mission, but like yeah, trip, and um, which is actually normal for them because they've had <laughs> apparently on other not last, but apparently on other attempts. Right. That's exactly what happened. Janky. Yeah, so, yeah. They were so, they weren't alarmed that they lost contact. Right. It was after like hours. They were right. Like, oh, something isn't right. Isn't right. Yeah. And they were bolted in. Yeah. Here we go. It's it was a tube. They were bolted in from the outside, controlled by a gamer controller. It wasn't a submarine, um, really. It was like, yeah, it wasn't a. It was a submersible, which is what Monique was saying. Like a submarine, you can control from the inside. It's huge, and it's huge. Yeah, and you've got like radar and stuff like that. Like this was literally like a small, tiny. That's like tethered to a thing. That's shuttle. Supposed to like float I think you I saw up. a picture of it. Yeah. Yeah. It was like float you back up, but that didn't work. It was just a lot of things went wrong. Yeah, a lot of things went wrong, but apparently they were like advised against doing that all of that. So this is really sad. I'm sorry about that. That's um so crazy. Wait, but they were just going there to see the Titanic? Yeah, so yeah. they they were just going to yeah, basically like explore the Titanic up close. It was yeah, supposed to be like a very like, you know, exclusive time which is why they paid so much money to go right and they were in a rush to do it like they wanted to do it quickly um without kind of getting all the regulations and stuff taken care of and because of that like obviously some stuff went wrong because the titanic is down deep like it's down 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 deep mm -hmm. which is it's like two miles under yeah. the sea which is yes very very which deep. Is what you know liz is saying here they've lost it before you know yeah it was like yeah and it was really sad i think just saying what i said yeah like they they weren't worried at first because this has happened before and then they were like oh we truly cannot find the submersible and so then all the coast guards and everybody was like looking for them but yeah so they apparently like ran out of air this morning no it like they imploded they didn't run out I know, but like the the time for the oh, oxygen yeah. mm -hmm. to give out would have been this morning, and they didn't find the thing until later on this afternoon. So, yeah, because I saw I didn't see anything about that. I just saw other people's commentary about it, and they're like, "What is all this submarine stuff distracting us from?" And I'm like, "What are we talking about? Like submarine?" I, I there's something important. Where you know other things are going on with the white. Oh, because I think. I don't know, I'll talk about politics. But anyway, there are like two news outlets that I follow on my personal. It's NPR and then Impact. I M P A C T. Those mm -hmm. two are the ones that I like heard about it from. If you like feel like following them, um, but yeah, it's really sad. One of them was like a 19 year old and was like the son of one of the billionaires. Dang. Yeah. You know. So um, that is the can of worms that you have opened. You have 
I really like brought the mood down. You I was did. really curious because I had no idea. No, but, the internet was so unserious. I, I was know like, they were being. Really I was like, rude. Lord, let me say my prayers extra because I did giggle at a couple. You're still giggling. Because you, I was just like, how? How? Everyone's just so creative, you know? Like, wow. Yeah, but it's, it's a tragedy. Very sad. It's very sad. Um, so we can all take a moment, or you know, to think about that. And now we're gonna move on. That was our moment. Okay. Great. Jayla's birthday is in July. Oh, uh, she picked a really fun book. She mm -hmm. did a fun book Here for the reveal. The stepson was being that stepson was being really rude. Oh yeah, oh, the Cardi B went was like, mm, I'm still gonna go to my Blink 182 concert. Yeah, Cardi B went on a lot or somewhere, and she was like, you saw, mm. she was like, I imagine just being a billionaire and like, or like, she was just pretty much saying like, I don't want people not to be worried about me if I go missing. Is what she was saying, like in a sense. Mm. And then she was like, this one guy's son is at a concert, and then he went and said. I'm not rich or something like you went on a whole I didn't really watch this video, but yeah. Um, but back to the book for next month. I got the title right here. Okay. It's Escape the Island of Eldritch E L D R I T C H Lust. Princess to Pleasure Slave Adventure Two. It's a choose your own adventure. Yep. Amanda right Clover. There. And Jay Ari. We're doing a choose your own adventure. Yes. I can't understand it. So that is <laughs> the book for next month. Whoop, whoop. The fun time. It's on KU, apparently. I can't wait for our jaws to drop. We're going to be like, what are we choosing between? Yeah, it'll be fun. <laughs> it'll be fun because I'm excited. Something different. We're all. Yeah, I can't wait to share like our different paths, experiences. And be wow. like, okay, so what did you choose? Yeah. This would be so, we're really going to find some things out about each other. We're going to read like totally different books too. That's the crazy it, part. It will be. It All will the be. unhinged ones are on Jayla's channel. Um, True. Yeah, no, all the unhinged ones are on Jayla's channel. So there's that. But that's the one for next month. Um, and yeah, like we said on Jayla's channel, we'll figure out the dates and stuff. Y'all know how it is. Um, yeah. Christina has to get up early. That's what I got. She's saying good night. I'm about to eat some pasta. Yeah, some leftover Olive Garden, if anybody wanted to know when you hear your family. <laughs> They're going to say if anyone wanted some. <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> I'll come right over. Anybody wants any? Yeah, a little shrimp alfredo. <laughs> did you get any breadsticks? I did. I did. You know when you can get the breadsticks and then get the dip, like the little like alfredo dip? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, the case is so good. A dip for your bread? Just eat it raw. No, you have to. Sarah, Sarah, Sarah. What's Sarah. wrong with Sarah? Sarah. Your breadsticks raw, you eat, your, you eat your middle fluffer. We don't have to Maybe I shouldn't have said raw. Eat it with <laughs> Listen you can't to eat me. it. Have you tried the Alfredo sauce with the breadsticks? No, I just eat them by themselves. It's a yes or no question. I don't need any back said talk. No. The point is, is don't, don't knock it. it till you try it. Casey eats it that way. It's delicious. It's a it's a it's a literal appetizer like thing that you can get on the menu. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, money, money. What you're telling me? I thought it was a happy. She had to ask for the sauce. What's she saying, Sarah? So it's extra. No. Well, it's like five dollars. Yeah. No, it's so not. No, it's a no for me. Ninety nine. Yes, it is. Well, money. the breadsticks is unlimited breadsticks that you no, get. No, for the sauce. You don't pay five dollars for Alfredo dip. Five dollars for really? the sauce? Yes, you do. It was on the menu yesterday. How are you gonna tell me that? You're telling me the sauce for Alfredo sauce. Five ninety nine. Yeah. No, you don't. Look it up. You're paying. What kind of dip is it? Is it the sauce they put on the fettuccine? Off you should look at the menu. You should look at the menu. Get them on ours. I was literally there last well, night. Well, that's not what Casey did. You ordered something different. Sweet Casey, Casey got, paid the five ninety nine. No, for she that. didn't. She did. She you got saw her check. She saw. 
Actually, I did because I passed the tablet to her. You lying right now. <laughs> I'm going to look this up right now. I'm about to woo, you get on my nerves. You go ahead. You take over the chat because I'm upset. The with chat you. was we were saying goodnight. <laughs> hey, nerves. What else did I to do? Woo. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Well, let's just say goodnight. But we'll just keep going. Just keep Not going. Listening. Oh yeah, we're gonna talk. We we we, we had our moments just then. He truly. He's gonna be in our class. <laughs> Can get it for like two dollars at Trader Joe's. That's the five dollars that they get. Christine. That's what I'm saying. I don't make the rules, okay? I just we didn't there. pay five dollars for Alfredo dip. I don't think anyone would have said something. I just go there, and I'm telling y'all, they have the breadsticks. I mean, yeah. at like at Domino's now, they have individual dips that you can buy. She got the Alfredo dipping sauces includes breadsticks starting at five forty nine. Um. Read it and we freshly prepared marinara. Oh, she gets on my nerves. And you pick which sauce you want. And she picked out Fredo. I thought the breadsticks were free. Yeah, there's no way I would allow that. I was like, can I get a side of Alfredo? That's what I'm oh, saying. I'm like, like, I would rather just have the breadsticks by themselves. If you don't have to upcharge. I thought we got every Alfredo time I go, I'm like, like just keep the breadsticks soft. going. Bring mm -hmm. as many breadsticks as you physically can. Yes. Honestly, and they only fill up like four each time. I'm like, no, give me the big bundle. And then just you only have to refill it probably once. But if you give yeah. me like three, then it's this just is the one good. I want to try, y'all. The five cheese one. I'm like, hello. Well, that would make me poop my pants. <laughs> Why not just order the mozzarella sticks? <laughs> like, just get the mozzarella sticks and have your red sticks, too. The thing is, the person I went with yesterday was the one who ordered it. So I wasn't the one going in there being like, let's mm -hmm. get the, the, you know what I mean? I, I was down to get the bread included. sticks I thought plain. you get unlimited bread sticks. You do get unlimited. So why are we paying $5? For the dipping For the dips. What's wrong with you? I'm just understanding how the dip is $5. That's how they get you. That's how they get you. They got to make their money somehow. The salad's free. The breadsticks are free. Like the salad, I ate so much salad yesterday. Salad I was good. I was eating it up. Okay, you gotta eat. I don't think I've ever the salad. I don't think I've ever opted for the soup. I always it's get all you salad. can eat. Dip y'all. I see my cousin. He went for Christmas, and. They so if it's food. all you can eat dip, could you like bring like a Tupperware and like? like okay, yesterday, dip. hold on now. Yesterday, <laughs> I said to him, I said, "Can you put this Alfredo on my Alfredo?" That's what I said, and he said, "Yeah." You want one to go? I was like, "Pour it on, pour it on." So I mean, I I put it on my thing, but. I'd be like, I'm praying for your stomach. Like, honestly. I had a good time yesterday. I had a I had a good time. Yeah, I'm confused. The soup <laughs> was fire. My cousin had the soup, and I was shocked. The soup. But we didn't have enough salad, so honestly, she was the smartest one. They never gave enough salad. Wait. I only like soup if I'm sick. So. That's what we did. Yeah, wow. Hacking. It's Olive Garden Jean. Yes, yeah, sorry. Do y'all yeah, have? Maybe we really Canada. want some now. Oh my like, god! Dang. It's Olive Do they have Olive. Olive Garden in Canada? That's what I'm saying. Like, do they? They should have Olive Garden. Wait, Zappa, Zappa Toscana is the shit. What is that? Zupa Stupid Apple. What's happening here? <laughs> I think it's uh, actually Zupa. Oh, Zupa Toscana. And it, oh, oh, I know. Zappa. 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 Is that a dish? Or is that a restaurant chain like Pozzoli's? Is that something in Texas? Pozzoli's. Yeah, oh. I don't know. Vish. 
I used to think Olive Garden was like high class. I'd be like, we're going out to out. It fancy is restaurant. high class. Yeah, if you have your American adventure, let's all just go to Olive Garden. Yeah, that's a list. But Olive Garden should be. There on has there. to be a list for sure. It's, it's the real. I feel like you got to go to like Olive Garden, Chili's, Applebee's. You know. Yes. To the all trifecta. Those. Honestly, we should go to Outback just to see if it's anything like Oh, my God. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the Bloom and Onion from Outback? Yeah. The Bloom and Onion. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> no, Outback and Olive Garden are in the same. In yeah, we're out- in the same Outback closet. Outback has that. We are going. And then we're going to Krispy Kreme. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> wow. a great day. <laughs> no, have you guys seen that shark drink from Outback? No. Oh, this, like, is it the one where you turn it upside down and it's red? Yes. What? Like, I got in the water. Up. I got to yeah. look this up. Shark drink. Oh my gosh. Outback. No. Hi. Welcome to Chili's. That guy, he's deceased. Oh. What? The guy who made the. Hi. Welcome to Chili's. Oh, I've seen this drink before. I'm sorry, are you telling me you pour, like, a little shark into the thing? They It comes with, like, a plastic shark inside of it. You take it out and you flip it and red liquid comes out of his mouth. Yeah, it's yeah. like, yeah, and so there's, like, a shot inside of the shark. And so it's like a sake bomb, you know, where... This is fun <laughs> as heck. Wow, I'm, I feel like, mm, I feel like I want to go do this. I feel like I want to do this this weekend. <laughs> Great. Go to Outback Steakhouse. I'm. We have to have a going away party for you, Catherine. So I'm <laughs> at an Outback Steakhouse. <laughs> Why not? Let's go. Let's we should. Up. Okay, let's do it. We're doing it. Is there an Outback <laughs> down there? Is there an Outback? I have down no there? idea. We have Outback. Okay. Just like go to Outback by myself and set up my phone. I'll like. Wait, think, I mean, like it honestly, that's how I felt when we went to the movies and it was like me and Catherine. And then you were like, "Yeah, I'm going at this time." <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "We're it, we're together in spirit." Oh, uh, what a great time! Oh, we are going to be able to go together for the fifth one. We're gonna have to bully Jayla into going. <laughs> Jayla probably would go with you, though. And then you'll have Jayla to into going. Me oh, you'll be I going. I have to bully Jayla into going to see the Barbie movie. Mm-hmm. No, Red, White, and Royal Blue with me. Oh, no, wait. We're all going to be together for Red, White, and Royal Blue. Are we? Amanda's wedding. Oh, yeah. you, are you notification. I didn't know we were going to the movies. No, it's on Amazon it's Prime. On Amazon. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You sent out this thing. You're the one who sent it. I don't look at the stuff I send, y'all. I just send it to y'all. Come on. <laughs> I'm the information person, but I don't know the stuff. You, know, you people know the stuff. Information. You know what I'm saying? I'm the messenger. I'm the messenger. Yeah, that's okay. Like I'm not in looking In one ear, out the other. Yeah. It's true. I'm an <laughs> Anyway, Black Angus is better than Outback. What is Black oh, Angus? Oh, yeah, yeah. Is. But does it have a blooming onion? <laughs> That's a <laughs> question. Okay, but do you guys like Chili's or Applebee's better? Slabs, okay. Okay, okay. I... We're going for a shark attack beverage. I hear you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I hear you. And mm-hmm. I agree. And the blooming onion. I feel and like Applebee's... Onion. Like something about their happy hour, their one dollar drinks. You get you get messed up at Applebee's. Okay, I don't know what they're they're putting drugs in their drinks. <laughs> like you take one sip of that drink and you are off your ass. Anyway, but yeah, I don't know the last time I've been to an Applebee's, I feel like I just opt for Chili's. Mm, I mean, no, you go to Applebee's like after a rehearsal. Well, the Chili's here is like like a theater like, kid thing. Like, up there, I guess you're right. Yeah. It's hard to go to chain restaurants in LA. Like it's they it's make it very hard. The Olive and the Outback. Yeah. The Olive Garden is in Burbank. So. Oh my god. Oof. That's rough. Mm-mm. Ah, ah. Like at Sonic, they're supposed to ride on roller skates. Oh my god, I love do. Sonic so much. I love Sonic so much. I was like, do people just not know how to roller skate? Or <laughs> I miss Sonic. It's a danger. They don't have the assurance. Oh, there's well. a there's a uh, Sonic out here. 
Yeah, we used to go. Fun. Well, there's one. So the closest one to us is in like, what is it? The A word? It's like. It's not La Hombra. But... No, it's not La Hombra. It's like up north. Hold on. I don't think it's like A. I thought it was. No. It's Wait, but it's have you guys it's... ever had the blue Hawaiian drink from Olive Garden? No. No. I'm just a sucker for a blue I drink, apparently. <laughs> Blue Hawaii, it's on their like five dollar happy at whatever the frick it is. But mm-hmm. there's like five different drinks on there, and the Blue Hawaiian. I think I was thinking Arcadia, but it's Monrovia. Yeah, sorry. Fine, Sonic. Sonic Monrovia. The Sonic is so far from us, y'all. So We've far. been there multiple times. You remember we went after the zoo? Yeah, <laughs> that was funny. It was like literally like. The zoo was open late one random night, and we we're like, "Let's go get like, chili cheese tots." It was like boo, I drove to Monrovia. Boo at the zoo. Y'all know what that is? Mm-hmm. Where you can drink at the zoo at night. Ooh. Yeah, and then wow. we got I did that at the the aquarium. Yeah, we did. Like um, yeah, we did New Year's Eve at the aquarium once. Yeah. Like I thought you would do that so bad. Which so fun. I love an aquarium. I really do. I don't really like the zoo as much anymore because I just get sad when I go. But like mm-hmm. the aquarium, it's cool. It hits. Mm-hmm. It does hit. Them fish got feelings too, though, okay? I know, but I'm saying like it just seems less. Yeah. See, my friend is a zoologist now, I can say that. Yeah. And she goes on a whole rant about why zoos are important. So, mm-hmm. you know, it may, you know. Well, yeah, I mean, I think it just ma- matters who manages it. Like, yeah. you know, we're not going to yeah, be supporting SeaWorld. <laughs> yeah, Tiger King. Yeah, we're not going to be doing all that. Mm-mm. But I don't know. I, I've seen those, uh, I guess, videos about betta fish or like goldfish and like you know when the goldfish starts out black and then like the mm-hmm. whole environment changes and the goldfish becomes gold again mm-hmm. like, fish yeah i've seen that with on. the betta fish for sure the betta fish ones are the ones that hurt me because i used to have a betta fish and like i really i was about the betta fish life mm. yeah, i used to always have betta fish What's wrong with beta fish? There's nothing wrong with it. It's just mm-hmm. like when you see them in the store and like their fins are like all torn up and stuff. It's just because like they're depressed basically and like mm-hmm. it's so like, sad. They're, they're just sitting on a shelf like in a little. Yeah. And they're yeah. supposed to have like a big tank. Big ass tank. Too. Yeah, yeah. And they always put them in like a jar. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because yeah. I remember when I first got my beta fish back in the day, I had it in like a smaller kind of thing. And then the more research I did, like I ended up getting like this big tank for it. Mm-hmm. And once I did that, it's like the whole thing was the little thing was so happy. Well, there you go. It sounds like you took good care of your beta fish. I did. <laughs> it was all my cats ate half of one of my beta fish. How would you say that to me? Wait, that, that, that was not a horrifying. <laughs> it was horrifying. That's, That's so sad. traumatizing. Them poor fish. <laughs> I know. I felt. I would so never bad. have a fish with him. Uh, oh, <laughs> look at the baby. Anyway. Neither here nor there. Okay. Monique's ready to go. I am a little tired. Monique now. just said good night. I mean, y'all Monique's just like, say, oh, I'm really, but I have to be, you know, a person in a little while. So. I should go to sleep too. I'm going to say my goodbyes, but y'all keep doing what y'all doing. Wait, I'm so jealous. They're seeing your prom was at the aquarium. No, Universal. That's so cool. Oh, your senior problem was an aquarium. I read the wrong problem. <laughs> wow. Imagine. That's where I went for, um, whatchamacallit. I don't I'm know what you call it. <laughs> New Year's Eve. <laughs> for whatchamacallit. New Year's Eve, we went to the aquarium of the Pacific. It was great. They had silent disco. Yeah. They, oh, um, do that one time. 
It's fun. Yeah, I feel like that'd be fun. It's just a drive. The Aquarium of the Pacific. I mean, yeah, it is a, it is down south. It but is. for Catherine, it's nothing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. It's fun. And a lot of the animals are, like, nocturnal, too. So you get to see, like, the otters. They were living. Ah! Oh, but that's so fun. I love otters. I didn't know they were nocturnal. Wow. Yeah. Well, you know. Speaking the of. penguins. The nocturnal clock. Yeah. Right now. It is yeah. Late. Well, for East Coast. <laughs> Finding I'll half there. of Nemo. <laughs> no. <laughs> this is not well. <laughs> You have to cackle like that, my God. <laughs> my Lord. The Queen Mary is very cool on the inside, mm -hmm. but also haunted. Really? So there's that. Oh, oh so haunted. deeply haunted. Yeah, very haunted. Oh, yeah. I've seen I would videos, never spend though. the night there. Mm -mm. They did, we did like a Girl Scout event there once. They film there all the time. And I'm yeah. like, during the day, y'all, fine. But I'm not going at night. Mm -mm. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Killed fish and plants, Jean. Mm. Wow. If I had fish, Sherman, I'm sure, would kill them. Honestly. No. Mm -mm. I don't, I don't like do people. haunted things. Yeah, I was like, I'm like, <laughs> I don't like to put myself in these situations. I would rather I not. Worry about that you know what? This know. might be dumb of me to say, but I would much rather do something like this than go to just like a Halloween like haunted house, like ones that they set up with actors and stuff. Those freak me out. But like, I would rather go to an actual haunted place and just spend the night. I don't like either. Like, I don't go to the no. Universal Horror Nights or Not Scary. I don't do any of that. I like scary things, but I don't play with people, you know, with people, real people. <laughs> Talking about real ghosts? Like, ghosts of a cat? I don't want that energy. I, I like <laughs> putting myself into fake situations. Okay, I will say, Monique and I do have one rule in the house. One rule. And it's that we don't bring any of that bad juju into the house. You know what I'm saying? No Ouija boards, no spiritual, you know, whatever's none of that. Any haunted dolls out. Wait, burn. we won't catch you. We don't bring none of that into our house. Okay? You know those people that like buy haunted dolls off of Hell eBay? I'm like, no. why would you do that? Uh-uh. No, you are asking for an Annabelle situation and good luck to you because we won't be a part of it. Sarah's sitting there like, hmm. <laughs> Isn't everyone a haunted dog? I'll burn the hell out of it. <laughs> Wait, so um, we won't catch you in the mirror on the weekend, like, summoning Bloody Mary? I did do that when I was little. Not in this house. But, like, mm -hmm. nothing happened. Yeah, I, I got scared of this. <laughs> yeah, I was like, uh-huh, you didn't even finish the thing. I did, I did finish it. No, I lived in a in a house that was haunted when I was younger, so I believe fully in all that. Uh-uh. It ain't cute. Oh no, Queen Mary. They do. They do a rave on there too. The thing is, it they is do a cool. lot of crazy stuff on the Queen Mary. I'm like, why would you go on a rave on the Queen? We did like a senior <laughs> banquet on the Queen Mary too. I mean, like it's nice, it's fun to on go on, mm -hmm. but it is for sure haunted. Like that place is scary. Oh night. yeah. And it's like the twin of the Titanic. We okay? have to work at 8 a.m. I agree. All right, Monique's saying we're going. Well, I have to work at 7 a.m. Well, we I'm working at 6 a.m. We have the hour sprint was an hour I'm ago. I'm not working. You know we stopped an hour ago. What? Wait, there's a haunted museum in Nottingham, UK, and there's all kinds of creepy dolls there. One of them turned itself on several times mm -hmm. while my husband and I were there. Ew! Wow. The UK oh, is, like, there's so many haunted places in the UK. Okay. Like, London? All of London mm -hmm. is haunted. 
Pat Reeve. So That's why I, uh, whew, this is the last thing I'll say and then I'll be done, but no, it really is. It's the, it's the click on that comment. how to train your Gavin or whatever. Oh he, yeah. He spent the night in a haunted house and read a horror book. Yeah. And I was watching not. that vlog and y'all the vlog is done. The editing on that vlog is so funny. Like it's so funny. Like he had one of his friends sit in like it was like an interviewee and she was like this is the most haunted house in the UK. And like <laughs> oh all, this, all this like extra editing like the way that he zoomed in on like all these dolls that were in the <laughs> house. And I was like, what are you doing, Gavin? Like, why? And then he was like, I don't know why I decided to lit to to spend the night in this incredibly haunted house and read the scariest book on my TBR. And I was like, oh my God. I, I love, love your accent. I'm loving this accent. <laughs> I was trying. I was trying. Because he's got kind of like a I don't know what accent it is. Like maybe it's like, I don't know. I have no idea. I can't say anyway, but it was funny. Highly, highly recommend. New Orleans is the other place that's so haunted. They got I do want spirits. To, I do want to do a ghost tour and go there, though. I'm not going to lie. They have spirits there. I know, but as long as we don't go to no voodoo mm -hmm. and nothing, we should be okay seeing the ghost tours. I think. I don't know. I've been learning a lot about spirits recently. I don't know if we should go up in there, but I got to get my protection crystals. Who's, who, who are you even talking to? <laughs> I know exactly what you're talking about. <laughs> I was say, what you know about spirits? It's because it's funny because you ain't never talked about these until recently. And now <laughs> I know why. I know a lot about a lot, okay? No, you don't. <laughs> what in the heck are y'all talking about right now? Wait, what? still in tongues. I read the prologue of that and I freaked myself out so much and I haven't picked it back up since. Mm -mm. Is it really scary? It's like... The beginning is this couple is house sitting and there's a parrot that talks that is there and the parrot starts like acting really strange and like he's basically in front of this full like glass door and he starts like freaking out because he sees something but like it's it was it was pitch black I was reading it in the dark and I was like yeah, this is too much for me. Why would you read it in the dark? I'd have because all I was all trying time. to scare myself and it worked. Oh no! Mm -mm. That's why you have to have you your animals around. Maybe I'll check it out. Because your animals be telling you things. You know what I mean? When they're over there looking in the corner by themselves, yeah, y'all know for sure something's over there. So mm -hmm. that's rule number two. Rule number one, don't bring it in the house. Rule number two, get your animals. Get your animals right. But when your cat is pet cemetery. Sherman. Yeah, you, just, <laughs> you just leave him in your house. I feel bad for him. Honestly, I feel like, I don't know. Something's not right with him. It can <laughs> freak me out when my cat's like sitting near me and then we'll just be like. Yeah. Staring at something. I'm like, don't do that. Don't play with me right now. You just Yo, I'm gonna be actually living right next to a cemetery. I don't know how I'm gonna handle that. <laughs> actually, the real rule number one is don't acknowledge. That's actually the the for real rule number mm -hmm. one. I'm not kidding. That's the rule. Ooh, Christine, you got it. You are you. You need to tell your friend that you money. Don't, you don't know the rules. You are but you Christine are. Start the whole other channel. That's just like Christine how to starts. not get haunted. <laughs> You need to talk to <laughs> that you don't I'm need. not kidding. You need to you can't look them in the eye, okay? You need to know, you know what let I'm saying? them know that you're not when you get that little feeling able on to your handle this type of stuff at night. On your shoulder, you don't look. <laughs> yeah, you better watch out. You better watch out. Yeah. Hold your breath. Yeah. I know. Hold your breath. It's not I even can't. October, y'all. Woo. <laughs> Not one of the ways. No, didn't you ever hold your breath when you went past the cemetery? Yo, we're, yeah, we're spooking everyone out. <laughs> also, I have no idea what this is. Breath? I don't know. What that that the spirits weird. don't enter you, Monique. Come on. You've done that your whole life? My whole entire life, yeah. No, you mm -hmm. haven't. I mean, yes, I have. You go past the Forest Lawn Cemetery at least four times, and you've held your breath. You have to hold your breath. That's never true. Okay. And you've driven past the Hollywood one. You've never held your breath. You even said, let's go there. I'm so funny. We never will. You're so fake. I'm not fake. I'm so done. 
You have never done these types of stuff. She is as <laughs> She's part of ghost adventure. Yes, I have. No, she doesn't do any of this. Just because you don't pay attention doesn't mean it's You've not You've never true. held your breath. You get on my nerves. <laughs> you really act like <laughs> There's a cemetery near me that is just like, start it's clocking. the weirdest <laughs> looking Real cemetery fast. that I've seen. Like, it's just in the most random spot. And I was staring at it the other day because I was stopped at a stoplight and I never get to like actually look at it. And there was a bunch of signs that said no trespassing, like criminal activity around this area. And I'm like, what is going on? Are people trying to dig up bodies? People are crazy. I mean, maybe. I mean, that's Jane War. I mean, Jane City. I mean, they've moved cemeteries before and they just like will leave the bodies. But they say that they move them and then they'll just like build over it. It's happened a lot of times. Or they'll move like a body part, but not the whole body. Oh, God. Because <laughs> they get paid to move the body. So if they just put like somebody's head in a casket, they're like, oh. Well, and I'm sure if they don't have any like family to like, you know yeah. what I mean, check them, mm-hmm. like the people don't care. This is America, okay? Mm-hmm. This is America. Well, Got on it. that note, yeah. I think it is time We're going. for me to go. <laughs> We're going. Um, that's it. I want to say yes to this, though. I feel like this will be fun, but I've never done it. Ooh. I know. Oh, yeah. I've thought about going. She will have to hold her breath the whole time. <laughs> You're really getting on my nerves. You really act like I make stuff up. <laughs> Heard Don't you remember the breadstick thing that just happened? Just I never it. heard you holding your breath in my life. You know my nerves. I know it's necessary. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, guys. It's yeah. time to go. We gotta go or we fight for real. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go. But anyway, <laughs> next sprints are gonna be on Jayla's channel. Y'all saw the book. Y'all know it's choose your own adventure. Come join us. <laughs> Choose your own adventure, and we'll see y'all next time. Thank you for joining us. Good night. Farewell. Say your prayers before bed. <laughs> Adios. Yeah, bye. Bye.